What up? Two Steves? Yeah. Tasty and tasty. Yo, for the record, Say Jam calls himself Pasty. Some guy just randomly called, came up to me once and he was like, why do you call him Pasty Steve? I'm like, I don't call him Pasty Steve. I don't know if you know this. He does that himself, all right? As a Tekken enjoyer, this is, like, really dope to see. Um, and I feel like it's been a long time coming, especially for, you know, here in the States, because we don't really do these kind of overlapping events. And it took Sejam to do it. And now it's actually been really amazing to see how people have grown and learned with the game and, like, started to fall in love with it. So just want to say thanks, man. This, this has been really cool to see, man. The other cool thing is that this event... Like it's it exists because I don't know anything about Tekken as, as a, I'm a new player myself because box box. I taught him Street Fighter okay. and then after I taught him Street Fighter, he's like, hey, man, can you teach me Tekken? And I was like, absolutely not. Uh, I can teach you like four things with Asuka. And then after that, uh, my my You're understanding. On yeah, I was like, my understanding is, is running out, bro. Like that's the end. I was like back three and down four two, and then you're good to go. Um, so then. PDX started coaching him and then some other people got coaching and then more people got involved and I was like, all right, maybe we should do this. This idea, before Street Fighter VI came out, I pitched to as many places as I could find. I said, please do a tournament where there's like new players who are, are streamers who have never played fighting games and pair them with a coach and like do an event like this. It would be really awesome, right? And everybody told me, nope, we're not interested. Uh, I don't, we're gonna just do any, something else like a normal tournament, no thanks idea sounds whatever and then cr cup did it which is crazy raccoon in japan it was the most watched event on twitch when they did it it was extremely popular and then tekken 8 came out i was like hey guys did you see that cr cup thing you guys gotta do it for tekken it's your time like it's you gotta do it now and they're like nope we're good so i figured like why, i guess i'll do it right like i mean i don't know if nobody wants to do this i guess it's my job and just to add to that right so shout outs to obama because me and obama actually i was mm -hmm. at cr cup because i was there for tokyo game show at the time so while i was there literally like we were sitting in the crowd and the only way that i got in there by the way is because obama went up and talked to these guys in japanese in japan by the way it legit was like Hey, you know this guy's in the game because I didn't have a ticket. <laughs> this stadium was legitimately filled yeah. with people who had no idea. They have no fucking clue about fighting games. In the crowd, me and Obama are like breaking down, like you know the logistics of it. I, we were like, "Yo, how are they gonna show, show the VTubers on like stream?" About the little like podiums, like, bro. So I don't know if they showed it on the stream, yeah. But literally, they had a guy running down a walkway in real life, holding cardboard cutouts of the VTuber and he would hide behind it and then they'd be like, they cheer and he'd be like, oh, and he would go backwards down That's the so podium. Good. The people in the crowd were literally just like casual fans. And me and Obama, once again, we're like, man, this has got to be crazy. Like, we wonder how they're going to do this. Some dude shushed me. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I was actually like, you going to shush me, bro? We're trying to figure out, you know? But I get it. And literally when I tell you, like, I saw CR Cup in person. And I saw we stayed to the end. It was amazing. And we really tried to talk about, like, how something like this might come to fruition. So I'm happy that you took it upon yourself and do it. Yeah. And I, I think the prizes are really cool. Did you hear what the prizes are, by the way? First and second place team for the event will get an all expenses paid flight, hotel, and registration for Evolution 2024. So their team and their coach, all of them will get to go to Evo this year. Some of them have already registered, like Scar registered. He's like planning to go. So if you want me to reimburse you, <laughs> I can, or I can just send one of your friends. Like if you have a friend that wants to come to Evo or another this competitor, guy. I'll just send them instead. And you can go with your this coach. Guy. And also there's custom custom controllers. So we have custom leverless controllers for first and second place. We have Kitsune's. Uh, third place, we have Tesseracts, which are really dope. And then fourth place, we have snack boxes. And then every single person who participates in the event, which includes fifth and sixth place, you will get one shiny free entree code at chipotle that's right including some guac that is i'm, I'm common correct i got you covered and uh here's the bracket so this is what the bracket looks like we're gonna be watching the middle matches from all three of these rounds they are simultaneous in case you guys don't know so like round one Kawhi face miles and brawl pros team will be playing and jay wong's team and myk's team will be playing we will be watching PDX versus Joey Fury, then the other middle one, then the other middle one. It's because if we watch the middle three, that's all six teams. And uh, like, I feel like we should talk about this. I really wanted to get in on the coaching myself. Mm -hmm. I've been crazy busy with the travel and whatnot, et cetera, et cetera. But 
I know the FDX, I know the Joey Fury, I know the Kawhi Face Miles really takes pride in our coaching as well. Right. It's really cool to see how these guys are actually going to make this happen because these are really strong players. Like all yeah. these players, like I know all of them. So it's really cool to see that they're going to lend their expertise. And everybody's doing this round robin. And the great thing is, is that today is for seeding for Sunday, right? So if you have a, a rough day, and you're like, yo, I went out there and fought a bear, man. Why was there a bear? He beat my ass. And like, you're having a tough time. Your coach can sit down with you tonight or tomorrow and then be like, okay, here's how you beat the bear. You go back, talk to your coach. They pull out the clipboard. Like, see what you did was you got to stay in the key, especially versus a bear. <laughs> Everybody is nice and nervous. And I, the nice thing is because I'm doing the event, right? I can see all of this, the team chat. So I know who has been scheming. And I know hey. what they've been scheming on. I'm jamming to the to the music. The Tekken music is really good. I, they actually did a good job. I thought, honestly, I thought the soundtrack was kind of, uh, you know. And then I the game came out, and I was like, oh, it's actually pretty good. My man Harada. Shout outs to our Lord, Savior, and fearless leader Harada. Mm -hmm. My man had us in the hood listening to Infinite Azure. And when I tell you, these guys don't look like they haven't played Tekken since Tekken 3. They were in the club, and they were walking up like... Hey, what is this? I'm a music connoisseur. So yeah, you yes. know this thing, Jam. We talk, we actually used to ride and talk about music quite often. So I legit did a stream where I literally went mm -hmm. and picked songs with people. I'm like, oh, this one goes good here. So I got a mixture. It goes from Tekken 3 to Tag Revolution. I got some oh. Tekken 2 songs in there. Oh. I got Tekken 5. I got 6. I got Tag 2. I see some players are finally joining the lobby. Yeah, I've had people come up to me. They're like, oh man, what up, Sage Amp? Hey, did you know I saw Tasty Steve at a music festival and I wanted to say hi, but he was like in VIP enjoying some, some lovely festivities yes. and there was a barrier between us and I couldn't even get to him. And I was like, oh. Oh, and then, and then they're like, I saw him later and I asked him how he got VIP. And then somebody said, yo, man, are you Tasty Steve? And they just let you back there. It's been crazy because I've seen so many people at music events that like, they're not like gamers gamers, but they know either you or me. Mm -hmm. Like I went to an Ab Soul show, right? And Ab Soul, he's a ridiculous rapper. I was just talking to Yipes about him. And literally while I was there, the guy who worked there, he was like, bro, you're Tasty Steve. I'm like, oh yeah, man, what's up? And he was like, bro, that's crazy. Like, I heard you really like music, but I wouldn't expect to see you at this show. I'm like, do you play games at all? He's like, no, I just watch a lot of Say Jam and he talks about you. So I just knew who you were. I'm like, yo, to continue the story of music. So I went to see Isaiah Rashad recently, right? Mm -hmm. We got the meet and greet tickets. So we actually got to talk to him before the show. And while we were there, he was talking to all these people and he was super nice and he's actually super chill. Mm -hmm. And he was like, guys, I got to get ready to go and start the show and while he was walking by me he hits me with the double take he was like oh dude i thought you were kendrick for a second and the whole crowd was like i thought you were kendrick too and i was like oh my god it begins again and literally like i was walking outside and people were like nah man i knew you were tasty steve and he's like some dude walked up i thought you were kendrick yeah that's a real story that's i know this happens to you yeah because a lot of people have told me they see you and they're like oh my god is that and i'm like yeah it's tasty steve they're like no i thought that is that Kendrick Lamar? I'm like, no, man, it's not him, bro. Like, what are you th what are you talking about, man? I told my tos I'm good to go whenever. I see Saikuno is in the lobby, by the way. It's the weirdest day of my life. I think our first match might be happening. I think we might be getting it, and we'll see what sides they're on, because you see these handy-dandy little overlays down here at the bottom? I'll be keeping score of the teams whoop, by using these little portraits. They're really cute. Hey, I'm, sure, I'm sure you guys see them. Hey, there. that's cool. I honestly have, like, no expectations. I have no right. clue what everybody's going to be doing, how their play is going to be. Saikuno, I was making fun of him, kind of, because like uh -huh. he, he wasn't playing a lot, you know? And I was like, uh-oh. Like, I was just a little worried about how his performance was going to be, you know? And I was a little concerned. And then he played for one day, and he hit orange. And I was like, oh, my fault. Yo, you weren't familiar with his game? I, I wasn't familiar with his game. I was like, my I bad, bro. I wasn't familiar with your game, Saikuno. I owe you an apology. Uh, we're about to find out Rob CD, of course. I'm not familiar with Rob CD. Can you talk to me a little bit about it? Yeah, Rob CD uh, was in Obama's version of this event, actually, which I thought was really cool. And he played some Street Fighter. He was a modern Marissa player, Mommy Muscles. And hey. I thought that was cool. And then he was interested in playing in this event. As you guys may know, he lives in Japan. Uh, he's an IRL streamer. They call him the angel. He hold is the, an hold the on, angel though. of Shibuya. He runs around in those mean streets. A lot I of feel like there's fans. no way I haven't ran into Rob. I actually hang out in Shibuya quite a bit. So yeah. I, I feel like that's. I feel like there's no way I haven't seen Rob. No <laughs> joke, I, Rob. I would describe him as an easily lovable human. Uh, he's Aww. one of like the nicest people I think I've met in my life. Really, really easy to talk to, and 
yeah he's really cool all right i think they're ready to go whenever as always the way we play these in case you guys aren't familiar with the format is it will be the newest player on each team is playing first in a two out of three and it's a race of three wins on the team if it ends up being a tie let's say rob wins and then his teammate wins and then the other team wins two in a row and it's two to two the coaches will break the tie all right let's get it match number one say jam tech and slam it's about to go down these are the characters that i've seen them playing i know that rob was originally thinking about playing oscar and then okay. i think he changed it and it's like you know i've only seen him play azucena and my understanding is that the reason he's playing Azucena is he looks up what character is easy and what character is good. And then mm. he ended up uh, basically landing on this. He was like, what character is easy and good? And then here we are. He ended up on this, so easy peasy, right? All right, here we go. Oh yeah, we actually have our respective soundtrack. This is actually kind of Oh crazy. yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm over here jamming right now. Yo, they're looking pretty solid right now. Yeah, Saikuno, no pickup. Saikuno does know that running 3-2 is good, by the way, okay. which is a okay. huge thing if you're playing Ozu Senna, right? You, actually, running 3-2 is probably like the Tekken 8 move of all Tekken 8 moves, I feel like. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so good, and it's like a tool you actually have to be able to fight around if you want to be good versus the character. But I like Rob CD and the Alyssa. Goes in the chainsaw stance, not going to work out. Gets the, gets the tornado, but actually doesn't get the combo follow up, but still the closeout. Mm -hmm. And he's got the running 3 2 pressure, which is something. Saikuno, like, he found the good move really quickly. And then he did, like, oh no, the infinite, Steve, not the infinite. Oh no, oh no, lots of chip damage on top of it. Oh, wait, 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 Ralph CD trying to take advantage. I, I like the interruption, though. Gets the duck in there, actually gets the interruption. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, running 3 2, power crush to get through, though. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the important things about a tournament like this, right? Especially the first couple of matches. Finding something like that is so good and so useful. He broke the throw. Broke oh my the God. throw. Oh, this is cool. Y'all keep talking. I'm, I'm liking what was fitting right No, now. but like the thing is you find something cheap and you're like, oh, that looks good. I'm going to keep doing that. You know what I mean? Like just find something your opponent doesn't know how to stop and then do that until they can. And, and, and I'm going to be real. In Tekken, that is 101. Because if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. And if you got a move that you can take advantage of because your opponent not as ready to deal with it, then you should keep running it. <gasps> Hit the clap on him. What a block. He blocked the hell so he didn't have the full punish. But man, that was good. Actually, blocking the Liberator down four, right? The big sweep from this character is huge. I cannot believe Rob did that first try. And like, you get a block stun on it. And a lot of times, people... Yeah. Oh, the punch parry too. A lot of times when you do that, since you get a stagger, that's a big combo starter. But if you get that block, the opponent knows you're looking for it. It's going to be a lot harder to keep that game going, you know, keep your process going. Oh, I think he's just blocking here. Oh, no, he's not. He swung with one plus two. I mean, this is still a long comeback for Rob, though. Mm -hmm. Lots of damage, lots of damage. But like the fact that the life is lower, you're going to get a little more. You'll hold this real quick. Hold my head real quick. The llamas are like, yo, what is happening right now? I know. I love them walking up. It reminds me of the deer in Nara. It's just pulling up like, what up, man? What you doing over there? 1-1 one, one on block. 1-1. One, one. Full jab checking. Oh, he does it back. He's going to take so much damage, though. It's going to work. Even though you're going to eat a lot of damage, that is going to be the game. Zykuno with another round on the board. Tying the set. Surprise. Boom. I could go for some coffee right now, Steve. I'm always down. I'm finishing up my latte right now. All right, last round. First game, last round. Rob CD versus Saikuno. Nice whip punish to start. Right? I'm uh -oh. going to tell you right now, I like that the Asu Senna actually asked for noise on the third round. She's like, yo, make some noise up. Mm -hmm. That's the way to do it. Unsafe. He gets a 1-1 one, one punish. punish. Goes in the stance. Gets the heat again. Oh, he's got Rage Art again. They're both scared. He knew the Rage Art was there, so Rob CD backs up. I like the adjustment. Gets hit by the last hit of the chainsaw stance. Breaks the throw, though. Oh, it goes for the mid. I really like that. What a smart choice. Rob CD with the sick customization on Elisa, by the way. Mm -hmm. Takes game number one. Like you said, this is best of three. I cannot believe Saikuno broke those throws. Also, yeah, on the right side, I noticed that the Joey Fury team is slightly out of order. I can fix that. But that was a really close first game, honestly. I love that Rob saw that Saikuno was like 
in rage and then immediately stopped the chainsaw pressure by the way yeah he was like Pushed oh god break. elise is one of these characters i feel like she really is strong with her chainsaw the destruction mm -hmm. stance because a lot of times it's doing so much chip damage which is new to tekken 8 right a lot of people don't know how to deal with it we saw one time saikuno actually ducked but also using a power crush in there as well sometimes helps you out depending on how long the move lasts but i love the awareness of both of these players once each of them went into rage they were like hold on we've been we've seen the rage arts from both so now we gotta pump the brakes they're actually staying out of each other's range trying to whiff punish even more so uh i do like rob cd's approach make your opponent deal with the stances because that is one of those things but that goes for actually asusena as well because she has these auto parry stances that you literally have to be ready to deal with and if you're not doing a two hit move or sometimes a tracking move they're still gonna blow you up anyway but you're an asusena player say damn you know that yeah, this character I think is a great choice if you're a new player, honestly. She's really fun. She's really simple. She has lots of strong, just like really good options. So I like it a lot. I'm a big fan. I think Saikuna made the right choice. If you looked up a guide for easy characters and it said this, I, you know. I mean, honestly, both these characters are pretty pretty straightforward to play in a simple manner. Mm -hmm. I think Elisa really covers like the range of being like super annoying. She has a great power crush as well. Down back to is something that she likes to use with her lows. She's got a great hop kick. Mm -hmm. Okay, no break on the throw. Cool. Tried for another one. I like the idea. And in this game, like, oh man, he brings out the big low too. In this game, like, you know, every character just does up forward one plus two. You get access to a throw. And so a lot of people, you know, the coaches were teaching them that. Like, hey, you know, no matter who you play, just do this. Ooh, Rob CD taking advantage. Still a great round right there. You saw the life get pretty low. And I like that both of these guys. No! Man, that string is so cheap, by the way. Up forward one does a million damage. And it's just like an auto, uh, what's it called? It's an auto tornado, which is really strong. It's okay, I can still see it. Wow, no break again. 1-1. One, one. Goes for the low to beat the armor. And that that's one of those... Oh, God, that's going to hit. Man. Oh, rage art. Clutch. That's just super big, too. It does a lot of damage, and it puts you one good hit away from winning the round here. We'll have to see. Rob also has been really scary with the chainsaw pressure so far. Runs up, baits it. There, he's scared of the rage art. He's worried that Sakuna is going to be in rage and then do something out of it. Oh! Stop the pressure. Oh, oh, whoa, Rage Art! Oh, oh, no, dead. That was a good punish, though. Yeah, that was a good good punish, good block, and good punish. I think everybody, the first thing you have to teach them, right, is do you know how to block and punish a Rage Art? Like, that's, like, the biggest thing that somebody can learn on and pick up in this game, you know? It actually is kind of tricky in this game. A lot of people, when they first started blocking Rage Art, whether you're, like, a tech professional or not, it's a little tricky. Yo, you're just going to abuse it, the repeat offender? You can go to jail for that. Mm-hmm. Back to back to back to back lows. And sometimes that's just what you gotta do, man. Like, you know, if they if they don't know how to stop it, then it's like, oh cool. You just keep doing that over and over and over. Well done from Rob C D. The chainsaw pressure being too much for Saikuno, but he played that really well. I think honestly that could have gone either way oh, pretty snap. close yeah, little I mean, match i know a lot of people talk about like all these moves and tech and it's like bro your character has 148 moves how do i know which one to use mm -hmm. the thing is about that is that like actually there's only like a rotation of like nine or ten moves that each character is actually going to use and right. if not it's because the other person kind of has a scout on it and they need to mix it up a bit so there are certain tools that every character has like a down for one a while standing for standing for and sometimes even more specific moves specific moves for certain characters that you can can abuse the perfect example was that destruction stand slow that we saw from rob cd because if they're not blocking it they keep doing it by the way so our first match was the newest players they were in orange rank both of them uh okay. so they're brand new to the game they both played like a couple hours each or something like that right our second match is the second most experienced on both of the teams and this character is probably the most popular character in the tournament the character we see the most it's a character i didn't honestly expect to be so popular but i'm cool with it I i'm not gonna complain We'll see Bro, this character's mad annoying. I want you to know, like, personally, Lily beats me up, dude. Like, mm -hmm. she's one of those characters that you really have to be careful on. Because she's got, like, this new back turn low that you really have to be able to deal with. And I think it's so, it's not even, like, big, I don't even think it's punishable, actually. So you really have to be careful going in. But let's see, the mirror match, especially in games like this, man, these are true knowledge checks. Yeah, it's a Lily mirror. Lily plays Lily. I'm sure that doesn't surprise anybody. And Emily Wang on the Lily. She tried a couple of characters. I think she was interested in like Xiaoyu. She was interested in 
Panda a little bit, and then she ended up settling on the Lily. And I'm very impressed. She's, she's never played like a fighting game like this, and she made it to Mighty Ruler with hey, Lily, no. which I, I'm very impressed with. I think that's not easy to do battle. at all. Okay, Emily's on one player's side, Lily's on the other side, so I'll swap out the scoreboards real quick and get those fixed. But very impressive, I think, for sure, uh, to make it that far when it's a brand new game, a game that you've never played, never played a fighting game before. So, bro, I, like I, I was stuck at Mighty Ruler for a while, bro. I was running into the craziest players. Mm -hmm. Like, they were all big name players. Yo, hold on. Yeah, Yo, they both Emily. have great combo execution, by the way. Like, one thing about both of them that you'll see throughout this event is that Lily, she likes music, right? So her execution is really solid. She actually has a lot of, like, really consistent, solid hit confirms because she just says, oh, I just have to do the notes like this, right? So she just thinks wow. about it like music, which I think is really cool. You're making me a fan right now. Nice root of all evil, great block. One plus two on the punish. Mm -hmm. We're tied for the uh, the new heat engager. Oh my oh. god, the sidestep. And that's the thing, right? Like, Lily is one of these characters that like you really have to kind of guard yourself against in the defensive mm -hmm. side because she has a lot of tricky lows. On top of that, if she starts to finish strings on top, she really can't open you up. Speaking of, you were you were right about this. Great combo execution, and they're doing a great job of backing up. When it doesn't work out, the backswing blow through the wall. Oh, I thought we were gonna see a balcony break. That would have been sick. Mm -hmm. I love this stage too, the Lee portrait in the background, and the music on this stage is sick too. Bad spot, one round a piece, just like that, by the way. Okay. Like you're going head to head right now. And now that that wall is out, they start a little further back. So that balcony is definitely something you got to look forward to. <laughs> okay. That's, that's one of the new moves that exactly what I was talking about. No break on the one plus two throw. Get up attack. Oh, wait. Wait, heat engager. You have the wall. What a block on the low small punish. Uh-oh. No sweep. Going to get to the wall here. Oh, no block. That's big. Oh, and the Rage Art. I don't, she doesn't even have that much life. She absorbed it anyway. She's gonna die. She's hella dead. Oh, big my damage. God. Great. Great. The golden letter says it all. When you KO somebody with low life, that's how you get... That's the only way you get the great. Man, that, I cannot believe it. That's like the only hit that she would have survived was a jab there. Oh, wow. Yo, keeps ducking. Keeps getting hit by the mid. Oh, my. Backwing blow. Yo, Lily taking advantage right now. I like Activates it. Activates heat. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it's really smart with punish. Yeah, that's huge. Chance now. The mix up. This time she ducks. The low. That man, that thing is so annoying. Oh my. The trade. Oh, and the Revival. mid to close it out. I love it. Yeah, it was going to be mid low anyway. So, tough spot. Final game or final round between these two in the first game. I like that. Rinse and repeat. Nice. That is a great option because it's really good if you try to sidestep a lot, which is you can see Lily actually trying to like move around. So a lot of times when you're trying to move, you duck to sidestep on accident and using a mid right there is actually one of the best things you can do. Yeah, Yo, cleaned up. That, that was really close, by the way, between these two for the first game. <laughs> they, the, the wanged in the chat. Yo, the wanged. wanged. <laughs> All right, chat, like it's time again. If you want Emily Wang to take it, give me a one. You want Lily Pichu to take it, give me a two. Yeah, that was close. That was a really close first game, too. Oh, the mix up. Exactly what I was talking about. And she has, like, instant sidestep moves that you know, a lot of people, they kind of freeze up on. Like, you see her hit that movement, and you're like, I don't know what she's going to do. And an instant move out of the stance actually gives her a free hit, especially if you're moving. Mm -hmm. Oh, that could have been a chance to get the back there, actually. Yeah, especially, I think if she just woke up with the uh, heat smash, it probably would have caught her. And she also could have punished uh, that one plus two as well, so... And, and, and sometimes, like, and I'm sure, like, these coaches were telling them, like, sometimes, like, a simple one plus two, like, you just do one, two sometimes to just get those punishes. And, like, especially up close. But it's a little nerve-wracking. Big sweep. Not a big combo, though. Mm -hmm. Lily oh. with the lead. Nice. Yeah, going in the back turn stance. That was really good. Mm -hmm. And Emily's pressure has been really clean so far. Lily's struggling to deal with it. Heat dash. Mix Ooh. up. Nice. Yo, hold on, Lily. Hold on. Okay, big combo here. We do it. Hey, now wait a minute. Yo, hold on. Big side step. Oh. Up, I like the attempt. I like the idea to whip punish a little slow. And yeah, Lily's been using a lot of backswing. I kind of like that option on defense. Huh. We're down four one. And this is exactly what I was talking about. Nice wall combo. Looks for a situation after the tech. Not gonna get it. Root of Evil, I'm gonna do it again. Oh, wow, we're just a little bit off axis. That's actually why that launcher whiffs. 
Yeah, and it's it's a pretty rough thing to deal with when you're getting up too, because you see the root of evil and you're like, oh, I should crouch the block, and then you're already getting hit by the low. Like it's it's a little weird when you're getting up. Yeah, and now like they really changed it to where you can't like get launchers off the like the get up attacks anymore. So it actually just puts you in a neutral state where you can like bait it and maybe whip punish it a little better. Mm -hmm. oh. Nice, man. The pressure, Emily Wang, just representing, checking the string defense. Do you know how to low parry or duck this or? Are you gonna like hop kick it or do something about it? And then afterwards just brings out the throw back to back to back. Well played, that was a, a good little set. Wanged, I guess. <laughs> you know, one of the things that came up before this, Steve, is Skara, the fourth player on this this team, on this PDX team said, I don't think okay. I'm gonna get to play the game. Oh, uh, wow. Because in the team. if his team gets 3-0'd, then he will not be entering to fight <laughs> out there on the mean streets. He doesn't even get his chance at the Dignitas battle between him and Cutie. We'll have to see if Scar's team can put him onto the field to get a chance up against Cutie. Emily was doing such a good job of, like you said, just kind of like going through like the cycle of being like, hey, mm -hmm. are you going to actually do something about this low? And just kept going back to it. Right. And that is very Joey Fury, by the way. That is such a Joey Fury stat. It was like, yo, I'm going to mix you up just to see how you deal with all these things. And like in a fighting game, that can very much put your opponent on tilt. So taking yeah. advantage of that is probably one of the best things you can do. It looks easy when you're watching as a spectator, but in your own match, someone could do like a 40 frame unblockable and you just get hit by it. You know, it's, it's really easy to just be like, oh God, dude, and then freak out. People don't understand it. They're like, man, I can't believe you got hit by that giant snake edge from Brian. I'm like, bro, you're looking for like one of 10 moves a lot of times. And sometimes the slowest move is the one that's gonna clip you. If uh, this team here, three O's, you might be like, why don't Cutie and Skara play? Because even if Skara wins, uh, it, it's not going to come up. Like, the, the, the score will then be 3-1 or something, right? So it's not going to matter. I'll swap the names, get this all fixed. But yeah, Toast, if you guys don't know, he played Steve Fox. And then he basically lost and said, this is too hard. I'm going to learn King. And then played King for one day and made it to Red Bull. Yo, look. King is like the ultimate check tag. So if you can do the throws, you're already winning. He has great armor in this game. And the internet is calling for a serious nerf. I say, get used to it. There's the heat engage. Oh, wrist chuck slam. Hold up. Yo, Danimal. Wait, hold yeah. on. Wait a minute. I just realized that he's John Cena. Yeah, that's John Cena. And on the Cena, other huh? side, Shifter is Bulma. Yeah. RIP yo, to the GOAT. Yo, to the GOAT, bro. Had me in my feelings for hours last night. Me and Mark Man just texting each other in tears. Like. Uh oh. Oh, just backing up a little bit? Oh, I'm not sure what's happening. Oh, oh, I like that. Playing the lane game a little bit. It gets the full combo conversion, yo, Danimal. I love it. He was like, listen, you're just going to sit back there? Fine. I can wait, too. I like the jabs. Try to go for the back three. Yo, also, oh, my God. The thing is, is that, like, June's strings are really confusing. If you didn't play Tag 2, all her new stuff is really confusing right now. So you got to be really careful. Oh, yeah. It's definitely one of those characters where she has... You block the... Oh, God. Not the forward two check. You, oh. you block something and you're like, oh, that's surely that. And then you're just like, oh, God, I'm dead. It's the simple jabs. Simple jabs. Big pick up here. Oh, he didn't gauge it. Yo, counter hit throw. That's a one breaker. Oh, whip. wow. You know what was so good about that? Because in heat, he gets over. That might be a whip punish. No, it's not dead. <laughs> the way you said it. No, it's not dead. <laughs> oh. That was quick, though. Man, Yo. the Dawn Scara waiting in the back. I, I ha It's not looking good. Yeah, man. June is one of these characters. You literally... Like, personally, I still need to laugh against this character because I got beat up like five times over running into like these high level Oscars. Uh, Can Can Kicks is really good as well, especially in this matchup. But also, going for a throw when you see Jaguar Sprint is really good because your chances are you can either jab them, which if you're fast with it, but like a throw is actually a pretty good option as well because you'll probably clip them out of it. And it counts as a counter hit throw. So, yeah. And King's throws are very scary in this game. I mean, it is really, really annoying to deal with. Toast and, and the King was was doing all right at first, but like, I'm gonna be right, real. Like, the animals seemed like they were completely prepared. Like, even getting this wall carry combo and didn't even engage when they didn't have to, which is really even better because you want to play the lame game in something right. like Tech, and it really does take you far, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for those of you wondering, Toast, I think, made it to red rank before Shifter did, but then he didn't play the game for about four or five days and then switched characters. So 
The uh, the rank difference is self-imposed. Um, so if you have if you have anything, everybody has the same time to train. Uh, oh, look so at the if, combo. Yeah, look at the combo. Yo, that was oh, half life. Wait, he's Luffy now. Uh, wait a minute. What do you got? And just a simple jab. Didn't get the the big leg drop after that. Boom. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. He's starting to figure it out. I love that he just walks back when he's in the lead, and he's like, I don't need to be here anymore. Oh, try to get the heat smash. Oh, initiated. The Hadouken. I'm throwing crows. Shout outs to Itachi. Oh, get caught. The wrist chuck slam again. That is a special throw. So you really got to be prepared to break it. I love the dead. It like, yo, I'm actually just going to use it myself. It's I'm going to use throws. Yeah, it's smart, too, because if you're fighting a king player, we all know king players do not break throws. See? <laughs> I've been hearing that a lot. And it's looking real right now. Yo, the 4-2 catches your teching. Big combo damage we've seen already. Hadouken. Hold these crows. I say that too. I don't know why, but it, it is a Hadouken to me. Every time I see it, I'm like, it is. This is what it is. Straight up. It's the crow Hadouken. Yeah. <laughs> now, see, you know what I have here? I have the original Moonlit Wilderness on the last part of the stage. Mm, I like that. Oh, my. Whip. Back three. He just runs into the back three. Not the full combo, though. Oh man, Cog he's doing the Cogger's chat. I think he, he just realized that it's time. He's like, you know what? This back three's been doing work. Nice 4-4. Four, four. Yep, the counter hit too, so that means you get a combo. Oh my, not like this. Not like, you can't, the League of Legends toxicity coming out. Wait, Riot Light is gonna ban your ass if you keep this up. Right? No chance oh, he's gonna let you I play. I like this, to go for the RKO. Gonna get hit out of it again, and once again. Yo! I love this strategy. I love this strategy. You're going to throw the king player. You're going to go for the back threes to teach him a lesson and then not engage. So king doesn't get anything started. That is, I love to see it. Well, got to say, not the uh, kind of performance I was expecting. Honestly, the first two matches are really close too. The the host match there, you know, he tried to make the switch to king at the last minute. You know, that's not the last time you'll see them all play. I'm sure that team will get the chance to play today. I love the different approaches, right? Like, I love the fact that he's like, you know what? I'm just not even going to engage at all. I'm going to use three moves. Once again, the Joy Fury coming in. Like, Can I tell you gonna... what it's like, by the way? It's like people call, like, Kony is playing king, right? And he calls it the John Cena, the five moves of doom. He's like, I only do five moves, and that's all it is. Team Joey Fury wins against Team BDX. Team MYK is up 2-0 over Team Justin Wong. Okay. The score is 2-1 for Brawl Pro. So that means oh, I can get this on my stream. Okay, I'm pulling it up. No, no, no. It Yo, happens. It happens. Chop, it happens. Chop a bear point. Yo, the One Piece love, I see it. Okay, I'm, I'm oh, hopping in. I'm hopping in. I'm going to watch this on Brawl Pro stream. We got okay. this. So this is Lazy Matmans versus Raiditz. These are the the first seeds on both of the opponents. Wait, why am I hearing get ready for the next battle on our Because the match is starting. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's the match? It's Kara. Wait, they're playing. <laughs> they're legit playing. They're right just gonna now. play anyway. Okay, I'll watch it. Why not? Chopper Bear Point. Oh, they're pretty close. Yeah, these oh, two are close in range. I didn't realize they were playing in our lobby. They hijacked the tournament lobby. Yo. Okay, I'll watch. I'm down. Yo, they are playing though. I yeah, like no. The big everybody in the t in the highest rank is purple or blue. There's someone who's Lucian rank. Also. Yo. It's Splitshow. Sure. Oh my god. Splitshow. Sure. Yo, get out of. Oh my god. I literally thought, look, the big bear limbs, I thought he was actually going to get hit out of the air. Scar running the trunks. Yeah, I like the trunks. I'm a big fan. Fuck you, slime. Right. Uh, yo, bear combos? Uh, bear <coughs> combos? Bear combos? Wait a minute. The Dignitas battle? Oh, my. Hit him with the mackerel. Oh. Yo, Sam. Oh, my. Oh, the Andrew mid. Gets him out of the air with the back one this time, and then the hunting one, two, yo. What's this bear got in his mouth? Is that a cigar? Is, is he smoking? Wait, what, Yogi, no. <laughs> you can't do that. What are you doing? What about the forest? What about the forest? He left the forest. He's too good now. He's yeah. like, I'm out the forest, bro. I got a mansion in LA now. You think I give a fuck about forest fires? He's got on pants. My man actually ran a corporation at one point in time. He's too big for the woods, bro. He's no longer trying to shit in the woods. <laughs> no. He's like, oh, a bear shits in the wood? Wasn't me. I don't care, Not bro. this bear. I wear a tie, bro. I'm <laughs> <He's> <laughs> Oh, big low. Yo, the bear hell sweep. 
Yeah, charge two. Yo, wait a minute, bro. QT is actually going ham. Yeah. I'm a cutie pie, League of Legends, professional. These two played together. Dignitas boys. They used to be League of Legends pros on the same team, by the way. I am legit big. I, they just made me fans, both of them. Uh, uh, uh. Finishes the string. No punish. Heat engaging, though. Yo, bear god fist. Uh, uh. Rewall splat. Oh, uh, the down four, two, one, plus two string. Oh, no punish. The big hell two block, dude. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Bro. Oh my god. He was at the top of the farm. Did you see that shit? <laughs> my man almost got abducted by those aliens that be coming to pick people up in the background. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like oh, it. Oh, it's, it, it fixed it. Bro. They fixed it, bro. Oh. They, your days are numbered. They fixed Four, the throw. One plus two? Yo. Oh, bear combos. Oh my. The back one. Dash one 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 is blocked. Goes for the down back four. Not gonna happen. Gets over the down back four from Kuma. Yo, big fish. I block. Uh, drop it on him. All right, a round of peace. I like it. Scar looking a lot. If you don't know, Scar's game plan is back one plus two and expulsion. Those yeah. are his main or the armored move and then expulsion. Those are the main two moves that he. Yep, that's the plan. I like the jab. I like going for these highs though. Really calling them out. And small punishes. I'm gonna take. Oh, wow! The power crush actually stops it. The bear boogaloo out of hunting. The bear plants some tech. Oh, he launched it. Oh, he knew that he was out of heat. Oh, take him to the wall. Uh, uh. Get this fight. Yo, hold this fish, though. Hold this fish, though. I love the running one plus two into it, into the mid. He says, like, why not even go low? I'm just gonna running one plus two. Use the heat smash. Oh, tough's the grab. No punish. Oh, my. Big launch. Nice. Wow, he made it to the wall too. I'm impressed. Oh. Justin will be mad. It's actually while rising too. While rising, he says, you're so right. Oh my, he died? Why did that kill him? Yo, final round. That's a big ass sword, bro. That's true. Yo, that's right. It's called the Bear Boogaloo. A lot of hunting stands. You do back three plus four, and he spins around on the ground. I'm like, yo, he used to be a break dancer when he lived in the woods. That's how he made money. That's how he made macro. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Scar's one Real expulsion so away! Oh, oh my. He's still alive. And the down back four to close it out. You win. Wait, this is, this is a real game now. Hold on. Bro, this oh. hair. Something about. Are, do you agree with me that Victor without a beard looks terrible? It looks weird. Dude. It's wrong, right? It looks so wrong. You're right. It is not okay. I think Victor without a beard is so bad. I don't, he looks terrible. Yeah. My man, it's, it's, the, the skin on his face just doesn't look good without a beard. I'm just going to be real. Yeah, I know it's trunks, but I'm just saying. He looks gross without a beard. What, some, everybody knows somebody in life who looks bad without a beard. That's facts. Yeah. That's facts. It's me. Uh, <laughs> I remember you playing with the fact of, like, cutting your beard. No. Like, go. <laughs> no. No. Oh, oh, my. Oh. Explosion. <laughs> Round two. Oh, oh my gosh. What a move, dude. I like that. Use the armor. Try to go for the big launcher here on both sides. Okay. Nice counter hit. Oh, running one plus two. That's the juice right there, man. Oh, try to catch the duck. He didn't get it. No break on the throw this time. He's gonna do it again. Uh, uh. Yo, hold this fish, though. Oh, nice. That's gonna be a combo starter because of the counter hit. And I'm getting life back, but you're dead. Nicely done. This is really close. No, that's a dude. This, this game, this set has been really good at. Yeah. Let's charge rock. Four, four, two, right there. Oh, it counter hit him out of the start. Yeah, because obviously loads beat the armor. Mm -hmm. Yo, they are playing some Tekken right now. Gets the launcher on the wall. Yo, shoot this bear. Let's the charge. That is a bear you're fighting. Oh, man. The throw, no break. And he, you know, explosion's coming. Yeah, the giant whip, the CQC. Uh oh. Bear. Oh my god. They are actually swinging a lot right here. Uses the armor to get through the uh, hunting one, too. But that's going to be game. Yo, Scar. Yo. Yo, congratulations to Scar. You lost. But nicely done. You know, maybe next time they'll get you out there.
You know, yeah. I believe in you. It is going down. This is the round robin phase. Remember, the teams will be back once again once they are seeded into the main bracket to see who goes into the upper bracket and the lower bracket, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. going to happen Sunday. And right now, all these teams are going to get the opportunity to play each other to see just exactly how that's going to fall. And the games have been ridiculous already. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. It's been a good time, though. MYK 3 So this is our first Ooh. round here. So Team MYK wins over Team... Wait, that means Rosemi didn't play. Our second round, we're going to start it up ASAP. On my stream, we'll be watching MYK versus Kawhi Face Miles, uh, but also Joey versus Justin Wong, and then Brawl Pro versus FDX will be happening as we speak. And that Brawl Pro versus FDX one, Lily does have to fight Kony, the King player. Uh, oh. You know how she feels about King players. I don't know if you've seen what she says, Steve. I saw the tweet. <laughs> I saw some of the homies actually responded to it as well. And they're like, now you're a real Tekken player. She made a tweet that said, basically, uh, like, you know, I thought I hated King, but then I realized I hate every character. And I was like, well, now you know. I hate my character as well. Is that the water cooler conversation? That's where you're at the end. Yeah, you made it to like the oasis in the desert. Bro, did you, you watch Dune and IMAX? Dog. Yeah. Dog. Yeah. 70 millimeter. I, bruh. Yeah. I had to apologize to the guy next to me, right? I actually had to apologize because I grabbed him. I I screamed in his ear. And literally at the end of the movie, say, Jeff, you know how I get. I literally, I was like, I'm sorry. And he was like, bro, it's my second time seeing the movie and I enjoyed it. I was like, thank you. Oh, and we got a battle of the VTubers. This Porcelain made. made. Yeah. Joel, Joel, he's awesome. And Victoria B, which she spelled Vico Tira B. This is Victoria Brightshield. This is a 2D match in 3D. I don't even know if they're allowed to sidestep. I'm not even oh. sure how that works. Bro, hit some buttons in the chat if you guys are enjoying some good-ass Tekken right now. For the Sajam Tekken Slam, bro, it's been good. This has been good already. The names are switched. Okay, I'll do it real quick. Hold on. I want to be the voice to say, get ready for the next battle. Harada, hit me up, bro. I got some experience here. Get ready for the next battle. Yo, shout-outs to the taste buds. I see y'all. Okay. You said no audio chat? Oh, yeah. You should have it in a second here. Oh, boom. There we go. Yo, the customization. You guys are sick with it. Oh, yeah. There's some good ones for sure. I, I, I guess I shouldn't expect anything that's from the VTubers. I shouldn't. No, you got to know. They're professional, Steve. If there's one thing VTubers do, it's like they have a new outfit literally every day. <laughs> oh, nice heat engager. I like just taking the damage that you can get. It goes right away for the heat smash, goes for the low resist, which is a combo starter. But not gonna make it work, catches the back with the TV gauge this time. Oh god, out of the air. Didn't get the full combo off it though. Oh, Hadouken missed though. And not a lot of life back actually, which is one of the things that June is really good about. Hold these crows. See, right on this stage, for the record, I have a Tekken Tag one song. And it's uh -huh. like the most tranquil thing ever. Man, that is the opposite of the stage movie too. <laughs> oh, I think she tried to do the back four two combo and then just didn't get the right thing, but I like the idea. Great defense on both sides. They trade. Yes. Okay, he didn't gauge her back. It's a little warmer because of it. Oh god, not quite dead, but there it is. The low to seal the deal. Yeah. Once again, this character is super... Man, these customizations are wild. And it ain't even like it's something too crazy. But I love, like, look, you know I'm a man of fashion. I love the the colors that they're using as well. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I think it's their VTuber models, right? Aren't they dressed up as their... I could be wrong, but I think that's, like, the strat. Kind of, I guess. Because Victoria Brightshield, she's a paladin. Mm. Mm. Okay. But Porcelain Maids is, like, straight up, it's his model, I think. I'm sure that's the, the strategy. Uh, oh, back three. One plus two whiff. Oh, God. Uh-oh. This is not looking too good. Huh. Okay, heat engaging. And just playing back. I like this. Oh, almost actually got around it. But that thing has mad range. June's heat smash has so much range. So that's why I we call it a Hadouken, right? Because it goes so far. Break on the one, though. Oh, but it hit out of the air on the back three. Oh, that's definitely going to catch. Oh, wow. The Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. She just... Yo, the ghost going crazy around her, right? Oh, my. I just saw that. The, the little ghost running around. Yeah. <laughs> Runs up for Oki here. Oh, baited. I don't think... Punish? Nah. Uh, 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 okay. That's oh, good matchup nice. knowledge, by the way, because June cannot launch Rage Arts on block. She has to do, like, the up back one punish. So good, good awareness right there for Victoria. 
Okay. I like the option. Gotta sprinkle a, a couple of more lows. There we go. Motion made. And this is exactly, exactly what I was talking about. Power crush. Oh, danger, it. but it gets clipped by the low. Oh, out of the air. So it didn't do that much damage, but you at least got saved from the, the heat smash. Oh my. Oh. oh, Rajar is a threat. The back three. One plus two. Two rounds for Victoria Bright Shield. I wonder how fast, uh, I'm not sure if, if June's hop kick is slower than the other hop kicks, because sometimes it does make it a lot to get, like, uh, the larger. Okay, oh. engaged. Oh, I tried to power crush right there. Counter hit, that is a counter hit launch, but didn't get too much damage. I mean, look, it, you know, it's better than something, nothing at all. Heat smash. Initiated, hold on, for some May. Oh, I love the lows, that's exactly what I was talking about. Speaking of, use the heat smash, lots of block stun in the back three, that was sick. Mm hmm the smoke below really nice there one a piece okay this flower right out of her eyeball all right yeah so that's become like a thing lately you know oscar's got that this character's got that oscar in parentheses guilty here uh has that <laughs> i like it I'm, I'm a fan so far close match okay little game a piece going right back in let me give you a taste of the Kazama style. The Mama Kazama, that's what they call it. Mm -hmm. Mama Kazama, back from a nap. Uh. Uh, everybody thought she was dead. Karada was like, I never said she was dead. Yo, wall break and the 4-2. She was dead, bro. She was dead. She was dead, bro. I, I'm not trying to, like, oh, yeah, she got decapitated, but, like, in parentheses, non-lethal. In parentheses, non-lethal decapitation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, ran into the last hit. You hate that. That is the worst thing. Oh, down for two. No combo. Wow. Rage Art is available, and I think that's recovery. You should be good to go. Mm -hmm. Yo, and that was that's actually really good. Just taking the throw right there because it's unbreakable because it counts as a counter hit throw because of all the blocks from, from, from actually going away. So. Yeah, and Rage Arts in this game are minus 15, so you need a 15 frame launcher to punish, or a fast throw is also totally fine. Oh, nice launcher gets over the low once again. Uh, push. Oh, baited. No whip punish, but I do love that Victoria just ran up and waited. Yeah, it's low. Like, like the heat starter just to like get, you know, some frame advantage. Oh my Yo. god, the Hadouken? And a bait oh. on this. Victoria doing nothing. There it is. Okay, a round of peace. Okay, okay. Fight. Somebody said the ghost is supposed to be Mama. No, I don't think so. I, I, I like love the lows. It. Yeah, that, it's something really good because the one two two puts you in the stands. There's a low option. There's a mid heating gauger as well. So there's a lot of threat there. Okay, gets the low and the heat smash. Not gonna work oh. out. Gets the launcher and a small combo because of it. Uses the smash and gets the life back because of it. Nice block. Oh, but didn't go for a punish or an interrupt. And the low set point now for Victoria Brightshield. The taking is right now. Forza made it such a great block on the low end. The Zabaki, the punch parry, that's crazy. Nice. Oh, that's pretty solid damage on that, too. Both went for the armor there. Didn't okay. get a combo, just a weird juggle. That's the worst thing. You can keep that advantage. Oh. Keeps the advantage on the wall. This time the Rage Art will hit. Big damage right here. And you're going to get a little life back, too. Mm -hmm. I do. It's a chance. A little bit of a chance. What do you got for the mix-up here? Against the wall, too, which is very scary. It's the float. Wait a minute. Looking for the back three. Oh, train. They runs into the launcher, but there's no combo. Hold up. Hold up. They both got scared. They're both like, I don't know what to do. Oh, the big low. Okay, now mixing it up. Ooh, Rage you Art's available. You got to go to the like deeper into the move list, and that way you can open up your opponent and the power crush. That was really good by Portsmouth May. Saw that the regular approach was not working, so he's like, you know what? Let me go a little deeper into the move list. Throw option after the stand. Mm -hmm. And oh, that low has been blocked almost every time, by the way. I'm a big fan. Nice again. Wow. Oh, the reactions. And then the power crush. Portsmouth May running it back right now. Oh, that's going to okay. whip. Oh, out of the air. You can get a combo. And that'll do it. Yeah, just take the heat smash. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But man, these rage arts. That's this is the scary factor in these matches, right? Well, especially when you're you're in this level, the rage art's a big threat. Oh. Oh! I think there's oh, a button! No. Yep, that's a button. You're dead. You're dead. I am coming back from heaven. Yo, ghosts go off. Dead. 
I love the delayed scream. <laughs> like the mad lay already been dead. It's like it's dubbed over. Man, what a, that was a really close first uh, first set there between the VTubers. Okay, okay. Once again, making me fans of all of these all these guys. This is actually really cool. Yeah, super, super close. Nice, nice. GG's, GG's. The other four teams are playing their matches as we speak. So both are happening at the same time, in case you guys are curious. So you can check those out as well. You may be wondering, Seijo, why don't you run every set on stream? It would take... 15 hours. Uh, so yes. instead of it taking 15 hours, we figured, you know, they're all streamers. It's very likely they'll be streaming their perspectives anyway, and you can go check out their uh, matches in these other places. Listen, I'm down to be here for 15 hours. Steve and me, we could do it, but these streamers, like, you, know, guy, you know, they're like, hey, I gotta go play Quack Quack DuckTales collab at, you know, 7 <laughs> p.m. with my friends. If it was up to me, play every match on stream. I'll be oh, here man. 15 hours. <laughs> No problem. But. I was going to say, they cutting into Say Jam's like coffee time, bro. Like, what if my man wants to go get coffee? What if he wants to go pick up another cold brew? I mean, I can hold it I'm down, out. sure. I'm out of cold brew. This is this is literally coffee and melted ice cube. That's all I have. There's no you coffee. Drink that? Anyway, don't drink that, dude. That's gross, man. Don't do that. I'm not one of those guys that drink the... Don't, don't do it. That's gross. Come on, bro. You are just drinking ice water mixed with the remains. That's disgusting, dude. Give my man Say Jam another iced coffee, please. I don't want him to do that. Somebody said do it. You're gross. Man, you know, I have to say my favorite thing about Sidion playing this game is that her teammate, Sean, said you can't make your name Sidion. You can't let them know it's you out there. So make your name Discord Kid. You got to infiltrate. That way you're getting practice. Nobody's looking at your strats. Nobody's getting a way to stop you from playing your game. And you get to practice, practice ambiguously. Nobody's going to know. That was a smart move. Lily just double perfected Kony. Someone said, no way. The five moves of Doom Yo, are going five, down he, as we speak. I bet you he's doing this in the stream. Somebody go confirm he's doing he's doing this in the stream. I want to see. Oh, Yo, man. and he's wearing the matching John Cena hat. What's what's the score on this, by the way? Do you, do you know, Chat? Is this 1-0 Lily? Uh, wait oh, a Matterhorn? Minute. Oh, shit. Oof, the big one. Uh. Oh, no. It's 1-0 Lily. I, I cannot lie. More than maybe the most biased I'll ever be, I hope she beats his ass. I hope she just... Oh, my God. Look at Kony's face. Look oh at my... his face. Oh, my God. If she beats King, I'll be the happiest person on the planet for her. I mean, listen. Yep. This is the great Whoa. enemy, right? This is it right here, King. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Nice block. Yo, my man is playing some Tekken, though. Kony, Power Crush, RKO. Oh, he wasted the heat. And the Shining Wizard, the knee. Uh, counter hit on top of that. So, got caught maybe doing, like, any any one of those moves probably caught the startup of it. So, that's even even better. They can't break it then. Oh, man, Leg I forgot. Time. Brawl Pro taught that fucking tech. The yep. back three, one plus two into the tackle to catch the tech. It works against everybody. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Command throws a plenty. Wait a minute. Down three. Down back three. Excuse me. And look, you see him adjust himself like, ah. Uh -huh. Now we're doing it. But he's on defense now. This is the problem. Can he handle the offense from Lily? This is, he has to survive this or, you know. Oh, big block. Bad punish, but it's okay. He got something. Okay. That's better than nothing. Nice little two throw there. Ooh. Shoulder tackle. A little alley kick. My man's got a nice good rotation of moves though. The five moves of doom. You can't break that. And heat is engaged. Engage. Oh, the alley kicks to get the kill. The classic. Oh, man. I Now I'm worried for Lily. I wonder if Lily rematches or FDX, FDX enters, you know? Uh-oh. Right? You know what's what's crazy? I love that, that Kony is the hat adjuster. Like, that's one of his things. That's mm -hmm. his thinking move. He's a father, you know? Head. Yeah. <laughs> the thing I'm explaining is that you got to understand, because he's a father, the later this goes, the worse the performance is going to be, you know? Uh, the okay. minute, like, fucking uh, Blue's Clues is over on the TV, he just he loses all energy. Like, that's the Maybe end of the day. goes off, it's over. Yeah, you, just, you have to know the later this goes, the worse his odds are. Oh, tries to go for back three, that movement. Oh, Matterhorn. It's so good. It's so good when you catch your opponent swinging. And Lily does a great job of just actually, like, landing these combos. And you can tell that, like, Kony's just got these five moves, and he's just running the gauntlet. The five moves of doom. The tackle. Uh, Alley kicks. No, the, the classic. <laughs> That's Tekken 2. That is actually a Tekken 2 strat. There's like, there's no way they're going to see the second alley kick. Wow, you did. What about the third? <laughs> mm -hmm. And if you're new, it's really hard. Oh, my God. Back three, one plus two. Tackle. Oh, uh -huh. nice. She escaped. I, I like that. You got to change up the tech. Uh-oh. 
actually interrupted the power crush. You know he's swinging. He's gonna keep doing it. Gets the free run. No break. You cannot break that. So you gotta duck a call it out the side and with it again, Coney. Coney. Uh, she had the launch. No combo. Oh my. Ah, right on time. That'll be the uh, end as we get back into our next match. City on. Gonna be up here against Electronic Robert. Round one. I gotta swap the names. I know, chat. I'll get it. Yo. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Wait a minute. So, Hold up. Okay, four, two. Hold up. Hold up. Activate it. Initiate it. E e e smash. Catches you with a back three. It's lots of blocks down there. So if you block that, you really have to go into like hold the guest that comes after it. And it's basically like they're going to keep that frame in there. So you got to be ready. Nice. Out of the air, just immediately takes the heat smash. I like the idea of just using it right away. Just why not, right? I, I like the idea that it's offense. Like, yo, I'm gonna make sure you can't get anything started because it's nothing but defense. It's nothing but offense. Oh, finishes the back one. Oh my yo, god, jumping lost. jab, air to air, Street Fighter combo. Oh, wait a minute. How, Sidion's outfit's pretty solid, by the way. Yes, I was literally about to say, I'm a fan. Okay, power crush. And I, once again, just using the frame advantage and hoping that the opponent is hitting a button. Oh, I like the, just taking the Naniwa buff, too. Even if you don't know the wall combo, it's a good choice. And just taking a simple hit sometimes can be better, right? A lot of times, just in Tekken, that can get, gives you better hope. Mm -hmm. Power crush. Oh, no, it doesn't know the duck on that, uh, the while standing string. The while standing on four. Back three block. Chainsaw's out. Do you know how to deal with it? This is the great question. I, oh, counter hit. Big counter hit, too. Wow, gets out of the range of the low on the string in the 4 3 plus 4 to get over the low. Okay, okay. Man, that was tricky. Lots of blocks down once again. This is a solid game plan, though. This is a very solid game plan. It's like, how do you deal with this pressure? How do you deal with these strings? 4 2 after the knockdown. Blade low with the down 2. That's gonna hit. That's gonna be a game number one. I love, by the way, when your opponent's low and you're afraid of, you know, get up kick is a threat and stuff. Like, dashing in and just doing Heat Smash when they're low like that is, is really good, right? Because, like, you just do it, and you're like, what's up? Like, if this hits you, I'm going to be chilling. Like, I might as well do it. I just need a pixel of life. You know, it's very good. Okay, okay. Do you have the, the, the main theme for the stage on, by the way? Oh, so no, because I, I need to make sure that I don't get tired of it for commentary. Uh, so I literally always change the soundtrack, but the song, this one... They, that whoop, 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 that, hits, that shit hits. Yeah, I can, I can feel that in my soul. It hits that part like, whoop, 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 whoop. I love it. I, the chat knows. The chat knows. Oh, no whip punish, but she, I love that she just backed up and waited a little bit, you know, defensive, like seeing what the opponent's going to do. City, I'm trying to get something started, but it's... It's e, it's e Rob, right? Or is it E Rob? Is that why I'm saying it's wrong? Electronic Robert. Electro electronic Robert. E Rob, like yeah. E Rob in the building. Yo, in the water? Oh my okay. god. Oh, big block. Like no punish. Oh, is it a hold? Man, that's cheap. So cheap. It's so cheap. Mm -hmm. Why can she do that? I'm going to tell you right now, I like Sidion actually slowing down and just trying to get, like, wits about it. Oh, nice. While standing four, I dig it. Yeah, that the ability to hold your Rage Art makes it, like, the best panic move in the game. It's just so it's so nice. Though. I love it, too. I, Sidion's playing just, like, very solid, safe Tekken. Just, like, backing up, trying to find whip punishes, trying to get some space. Oh, okay. The block's done, and once again, tries to answer with a power crush, but the back three clips. Oh, has a chance here against the wall. Uh-oh, Rob oh, is swinging. He's trying anything to get out of here. He just wants to kill. Power crush is going to work this time because of the heat engagement. Go straight to the heat smash. <gasps> oh, she was oh. walking. See, she had the walk and then maybe could have whip punished down for two or something, but didn't pull the trigger. Uh, hop kick. Okay, combo this time. Wait a minute, and the wall too? Oh, just that wall position. See, I was like, I had enough. We're going off this. Oh mode. my! Off this, but your sport mode activated. <laughs> uh. Yo, 
Using the sidestep in the destruction stance and go straight for the heat bag. E Rob. E Rob going ham with the offense once again. Oh, I love that she stayed on the ground just to get out of the way. She was like, oh, I'm going to just chill. I'm going to back up. I'm going to wait. I want to see the running too, though, or something to initiate. We got the heat engager. We got the heat engager. <gasps> oh my god, the rage arts on both sides. I like the patience. Go straight for the rage art, but there is no bug. <gasps> e Rob, bad punish. Oh, oh the my. big delayed launch of that stance is so good. I think it's down for this. And she has a launch option after it. E Rob runs right into it. Oh, uh, no. Miss punish from e -Rob. Is this the beginning of the end? Got it down for it, too? I'm going to send you my playlist after this, bro. You got to <laughs> tell you right now. This is a culture lesson for Tekken. I'm telling you right now. Uh, uh, finishes the string. We've seen this is what e -Rob has been doing quite successfully. Raw. Uh. Oh, over the down three and the down back. For the classic, E Rob gets the dub. E Rob with the win. Electronic Robert. The best part, too, is you know, he made it really far. There was a tournament that Ludwig did called the YouTube's like World's Greatest Gamer. And I said that inviting E Rob to it was like watching the Olympics and being like, I bet you my dad could beat their ass. Like, it's like if you just put in someone's dad into the Olympics, just to see what would happen. Just put your dad in there. I just picture he's wearing a shirt and his navel is It's like out. up here, yeah. A hoodie, and he's wearing like shorts and like some flip flops. And he's like, I got this kids. Watch your dad go. He's running and his flip flop explodes and everything. Like it just, it just like breaks out. Oh yeah, you know the best part about this team, by the way, is E-Rob, you guys saw, is a Tenryu Asuka. His next teammate uh, is a Tenryu Asuka. Kite Hasegawa and him are the same character, the same rank. It's like when you go to a Pokemon gym and like the little the little people are using the same Pokemon as the big gym leader and you're like fighting the same Pokemon over and over. You're like, wait a minute, what's going it's on like, here? I'm not going to even let you get to the gym later. Yeah. Dude, Emily, she said that Box Box is like literally an NPC in Pokemon. Like he sees someone and is like, I challenge you. Like he's been challenging all the coaches. He's just like, he just like walks up to them and is like, to defeat me, to coach me, you must defeat me in a first of five. And so I was I dying going, laughing please. at that. You guys are enablers. You almost had Say Jam drinking the dirty water. Now you got me on here, you guys. Man, it was All so right, here we funny. Go. Let's go. Lars, another cool character. Yo, the spy Oscar with the big glasses, I'm a fan. It's Sonic. Sonic? Sonic Yo. is Sonic. <laughs> I know you're a fan, too. You know I'm a big Sonic fan, bro. Oh, yo, big sweet. Yo, Asuka is definitely one. Yo, inner strength. Asuka is definitely one of these beginner characters that you can definitely run away up with, like, the offense on. Yeah, so but let me give you... also too. Let me give you some lore about Kite Hasegawa, right? So Kite Hasegawa signed up and said, I haven't played any Tekken, but I used to go to the arcades in Japan, and I had oh, a banana nah. pass. He said, yeah, I have a banana pass, and I played there, and I immediately put him as the second strongest player on his team. Oh, yo! No break on the throw. You gotta hold down on that one. If they haven't changed your counter hit, throw wall splat too. Oh, you're dead though. No worries about what's happening afterwards. Round three, fight. Oh, mm. nice. Back one right there. Oh, counter hit. Oh Man, god, I cannot believe that spring kick reached, by the way. Oh. Yo, the dynamic at the counter? So what entry? Oh, oh, big launch. Doesn't go to the other side, though. I'm gonna take the combo, though. Oh, gets the spike. Oh, wow, he didn't get you on top of it. Yo, no break on the throw. I think you still have to hold down on that. I can't remember if they actually changed it in eight, yeah. but you have to hold down to actually break it. I, I, it's a one plus two, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's a one plus two throw, but like, yeah, you gotta hold down to break it. Oh my god. You know the funniest part about it is watching Sonic's red shoes when he does this is just like, it really is cracking me up. <laughs> it's just like imagining actual the Sonic. Ring, <laughs> the fact that he's got the ring on the left hand, bro, that's so sick. Yeah, I, I wish when he got hit, we just had like the, like the Sonic ring noise. <laughs> he just like oh. pops like a balloon. Okay. Oh, so it is a one plus two now. Oh, okay. Nicely done, Sonic. I, the thing about him that I love is that he's so animated. He might be the most animated person about Tekken out of like anybody here. Like he's just so hype about Tekken and Lars. He just, he, when he does it, he screams Chidori when he does the Rage Art. Like he's one of those. 
See, you're already making me a fan, bro. So this is crazy. Huh. Defense is getting tighter on both sides. No break on the throw. Oh yeah, he plays while standing. He stands up because oh. he's so high. <laughs> this sounds like my kind of streamer. Hold on. Oh yeah, you would love Sonic. You, yeah, this guy is he's your vibe for sure. Bro, this, even the customization is sick. This is so good. Get the big launcher. Oh. Nice block. Nice block. Gets the launcher on top of it. Knows he's got the combo too. Uh huh. Try to wait for something to wake up. Nice. Oh, dynamic entry straight to the heat smash. Mm, blatant low to close out. Wait a minute. Uh oh, it's looking like we might see the final boss of the VTubers. I'm, I'm interested Yo. to see Rosemi if this happens. But chance for Kite now. I love that heat smash. Wow, that was sick. He's got the extension. Yo, big wild rising launcher gets a full combo with the heat as well. One yeah. one one. Yeah. Oh my, caught the counter. counter. No break. The ball is there, and it doesn't even matter because you're dead once again. There it is. This is a big one, Steve. We get to see. I don't know if you know much of the lore about uh -oh. Rosemi. Rosemi Lovelock is, first of all, an Eris fan. That's the first oh, thing to know. Oh, okay. All right. This says a lot already. The second thing about Rosemi Lovelock that you need to know, before the stream even started, right, she tweeted like I haven't had much time to play you know I've been really busy blah blah she just posted an image of her hitting mighty ruler with Lily in like two days or a day or playing or whatever right then after that she has streamed zero gameplay she plays all off stream and she she's got a little bit of the she's got a little bit of the jitters but she is very good and very knowledgeable about Tekken and she likes Tekken as a game so I'm really happy that she wants to play. In fact, her account here as a Heidi account, you may notice it is a strategist rank. This is, look, first off, I would expect nothing less of an Ares fan. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, that already gives you kind of like weight in the Tekken world because that means you already know. Save that shit for nationals. Yeah. That's exactly what you do. You don't show anybody what you can do until it's time for you to enter the tournament. I love it. Yeah, I, that is a very famous fighting game phrase, S-T-S-F-N. Save that shit for nationals. You don't tell anybody your strats until you're playing for all the marbles. Sonic says in the chat, that one's for you, Dad. Wait a minute, Zafina? <laughs> oh, that's cheap. Oh, wait a minute. Is she, wait she got minute. secret tech? Yo, if you don't know how to deal with stances from Zafina, she can get away with murder. Goku with the donut, huh? Down two. Yo, straight into the four four four. Done. Okay, the one plus two throw. Oh, I could get. Out. I could give you some lore here too. The lore is, uh, what's it called? Raiditz, by the way, went okay. and got coaching from none other than JDCR. Oh, that's kind of cheap. Yeah, got that's the JDCR cool. coaching. You mean Jitterker? Jitterker. You mean Jitterker, bro? You got you got Jitterker. Like one of my favorite players. <laughs> Yo, Rage Art, that's gonna hit. Yo, it's cold out here. It gets cold out here. Yo, I'm not sharing this donut. Oh, dead. Round two. Fight. These dudes are cheating. The JDCR tech? Mm -hmm. He went and saw Jitterkrat. <laughs> I like that. The three stands for the in there. Full cross down for one. That move is so cheap. Yeah, he's got a lot of really cheap stuff in this game, honestly. Completely with down four two and going to the wall. Oh. Uh oh uh, yeah, this is definitely some some JDCR coaching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what he said? He said use more jab, and uh, you know do down forward one, do running two into the attack, or do the heat smash into the tackle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know, but this dude dragging off is kind of dumb in this game. Wow. Did you see Goku sidestep that and do down forward yeah. two? <laughs> I like that. Let some tech off the wall just in case. Okay. Rosemi, give me something. Oh, counter hit down too. We talked about this earlier. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Down two is like something that they actually like changed in like seven and people were like, oh, this character's dead now. And he has the, the full crowd stream that he has from down two is really good. Now tackle's coming. Oh. I love that. I love that. Oh yeah, that's a really hard break right there as well uses the heat smash which is really cool 
Uh, but that full crouch down for one, like into like sneak stance, is actually really annoying. It's super fast, and like it's really hard to actually kind of stop the approach, especially if you don't know how to deal with the follow ups afterwards. So. Yeah, the the thing is too is that I think when you do it out of heat like that, I actually think that you can't break it. I think you have to interrupt it. Yeah, I could be wrong. Have, yeah. so the, the the tackle afterwards, especially if it has the blue spark, you can't break it afterwards. So you literally have to take the guess or like do a hop kick if you have one, or just call out the the actual tackle. Yeah, and the other thing to know about Raditz is originally this team, him and Sean both played Lars. Uh, oh. But Raditz like four or five days ago said, I don't believe in Lars. I'm gonna switch to Dragon. Wait a minute. Oh, Jamie trying to get something started. Oh my. Do you see the timing on the down four too? That's, ri that's really good. Yo, Raiders. You can tell had a lot of coaching. Running two going to completely whip and breaks the throw as well and instantly goes back to the down two. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm -hmm. And he has, he has the Miles coach and the JDCR, the double coach. Went out of his way. I love it. That's real homework. No punish right there on the train from uh, Zafina. Hard spike. Oh, oh my. Oh, pop. Okay, okay. I thought it was a power crush. Axie's the heat engaging. Oh, oh my. Dead. That does so much damage. And having access to basically instant while running two with one button is so strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of the things from Heat. It typically gives you shortcuts to like some of your more powerful moves. Or basically just gives you like the best version of that move. Running two. Definitely one of the moves that you need from like Dragon off to be effective. Oh my scary whip. Yep. Just to get in, look at this. Uh, caught you jumping again. Oh, that is big damage. And the wall on top of it. Slate and low. Back one plus two to actually try to go for the mid. Gets the launcher. Throws in me no combo though. Oh, big chance now. Oh, and the cleanup Raiditz with a donut in his mouth. <laughs> Representing Dragon Ball. Dude, bro, why does the intro or the outro look like that with the donut? Right? Mm -hmm. I like it's like he's eating, mm -hmm. so he can't talk anyway. Oh, mm -hmm. true. With the donut in his mouth, he can't even speak. It's also big because this sets up, from my knowledge, the first time in this tournament, by the way, we are getting a coach's man. So the coaches are going to be battling to break the tie. The team score, as you can see on the bottom there, is 2-2. Two to two. NYK, one of the homies, shout outs to Mike. He already knows what it is. Kawhi Face Miles legit has lost, to, I have lost to her in a tournament. Like, NYK was recently just trying to get all of his characters up to like red ranks or something like that. Mm -hmm. So outside, I think of like Kuma and maybe Rashid, I think all of his characters are like pretty high up. The biggest so, thing uh, I think I was going to say, not to interrupt you, is like, I think cool. he thinks, and a lot of people think that Steve's kind of stinky in this game, right? And he's traditionally like a Steve or a Lars player sometimes, yeah. right? So. Yeah. I'm curious what character he's going to actually play. MYK is probably one of the smartest Tekken players in the States. Like, mm -hmm. he's one of those guys. And, like, any character, I feel like it's probably, like, a matchup thing. And also, I don't think Steve Fox is that bad. I actually don't. That new Lionheart stance that is, is that good. That's very recent discovery. It does look good, though. I see that they're they're locked and loaded. I love that, uh, what's it called? MYK is hovering the Alyssa in the character select. Not giving away any secrets just yet. He's on the, he's on the what's it called? The Alyssa. He's like, what up? It's just me. I'm going to play Alyssa too, smile. Like I said, he's definitely one of the players that were like, I'm going to take advantage. I want to see how well you know. And then if it doesn't go his way, he's like, all right, now I'll switch. Yeah. Alisa versus Fang. Yo, Fang is stupid in this game. Okay, bro. so I didn't I didn't want to say it before this, but I was pretty sure Fang was going to be the character because I, I know that he's been playing Fang a lot. Oh, shit, is he Roshi? Yeah, Master Roshi. That is Master Roshi. Fuck you, slime. <laughs> oh, man. That move. That move. Full crash down, full four. Mm. Okay. Right, I'll fix the names and then fix the team scores real quick. But yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be a good one. Of course, there's been a lot of grinding from Miles. You can see Tech and God. She's obviously been playing the game a lot. Whereas Myk has been trying to level up all of his characters and learn the whole game while he's been playing. He's one of those guys. One of the bread and butter starters, bro. He's, he's trying to get it all under his belt and like inching his way back in. Like a series of down back threes, one through two right there. Uh -huh. Go back four. Why face Miles in trouble? Yeah, just a little simple down four right there. Slow, simple approach here from Mike. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the way I think about him, right? Very defensive, solid player. He's good at a lot of things. He can play any character, too, which is yep. a big strength to have. Ooh, he's making a pizza. Looking for you to duck right there. 
And you can see he's using, this is what I was talking about. Sometimes you just use a simple one-two. Even if you're like not fast enough to get the optimal punish, right. this is something like a one-two really does kind of set the stage anyway. Oh, just checking with that standing for Seeing what up, what are you gonna do about this? I love the hop kick, just like, yeah. he's like, come on, man. Next time you run in here, next time you run in here, they trade. That floor is about to break too, two. by the way, so. Very, very scary. Back four. Lot, very poke We haven't seen many combos, but that's typically what happens in Tekken with a really good. Gets the low parry. Doesn't even go for the floor break, but doesn't get the kill. Low we'll down four. And then the defense, just like backdash, escaping, playing solid, then that low parry. Little duck. All right, breaks the floor. Going downstairs. There's another floor break on this stage. Oh, missed the while standing. Oh, that is an unfortunate drop. Mm. Yep, you're gonna keep abusing. It's so good. I'm going to back turn after as well. You saw it right there. It goes straight into the heat again. You gotta hold the block stun. Wow, back Play to the oh, <gasps> Hold it. Almost had the pickup. That would have been sick. Down back to the Fang Wei, Master Roshi. Mm. Nicely done there from MYK. Solid, just clean play. Honestly, like the way he played, very, very solid. Not a lot of mistakes. And yeah, for those of you like, this guy MYK is only a Fujin. He's been playing the entire cast in the game up to blue. So he hasn't like tried to grind, but if he wanted to be a Tekken God with any character in the game, I'm sure yes. it'd be very He definitely good. would be. He definitely yeah. would be. And like, I want you guys to know, like when I used to work at round one, I would go to his house and we would play Get tag two for, for like hours, mm -hmm. like five hours straight. And we'd be like, all right, let's take a break. And then we come back and do it longer. He's that kind of grinder. So don't let oh. the rank fool you. The switch to June, actually. Very interesting. I know that Miles plays a couple of other characters. Lily and June are two of them. So the swap. Oh, nice. Man, that was a chance there for Miles to get a little whip on it. She had the movement, the back dash to get out, but just didn't believe in it. And also notice that like MYK, he's using a lot of strings. So just in case there's like a Zabaki attempt or like a slow move startup, the one two is probably gonna catch it. Nice pick up here though. Miles, big damage. June does mad damage by the way. Yeah, oh, oh. she hurts. She definitely chunks you and she heals so much. Oh, the can can stuff, just a little trade. And MYK, look at how much he backed way off. And then he just runs in for the low. And you talked about this earlier, which is the thing you see a lot of players do in Tekken 8. They'll go in and they'll just go like for activate heat so they can get like the frame advantage, the can can kicks. One for you and one for me. Okay. Oh, a little drop, the 4 3 2. And missed at the end of the combo. Miles with some offense. Yeah, that one's unsafe. That's the only pillar she does that's unsafe. I think all the rest of them are minus nine. That has so much range. Oh, oh my. Great spacing for Miles. No break on the one plus two. This could be the round and play properly. Yeah. We have heat as well, yeah. Extension here. Smash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very nicely done. Good spacing for Miles. She had the, I like that she backdashed. Saw that it whiffed, and like if she blocked that, she could have launched it, but instead, you know, she just gets the while standing four because of the space. Alright, float. Yeah, big combo here. This is a big combo here. Go back back turn. Catches you ducking. This time goes for the low, then goes back to the mid. Just a good rotation of the back turn option from NYK. Gets the float, almost had the combo a little slow on the shoulder. Uh. He dash. Back four, tries to catch the duck again. Miles oh. in trouble, can can kicks. You're in rage, so I'm gonna get some life back too. Big damage on the table. Uh, activates the heat, that means the smash is gonna be there. Man, she got so much health back too. I mean, that's really big, right? Because, you know, getting all this life back means, yeah, she would have died before if she didn't have this life. Nice. And the back turn once again. MYK. Set point right now. Oh that my. Shout out to Joker and the new thing for literally hitting me with it and hitting me with the evil little laugh over and over. Like, <laughs> it's plus, dude. I was like, no way. Hop kick. Oh, drop. Oh, my lucky chance there for MYK. He'll take it. Oh, punish. Nice. I love that he stayed tight there, by the way. He punished and then he didn't commit to more offense. He just said, Are you going to panic again and swing? Is there going to be can cans or something? Mm -hmm. Can can back three. Wow, I like that. Why? Face Miles mixing in the lows. I feel like that's one of the things you really need to do with this character. I to go for the punch, Sabaki. Mm. Okay, wait a minute. Tries to go for the wrist chuck slam. That's gonna hit. He smashes there. So far. Oh my gosh. 
he dead. Watch for the low. Down four. Back four to get the fish hook and then goes for the mid to close out. Only 10 seconds left there, but still, great patient play. And this is exactly what I was talking about. Like, you didn't see anything too crazy. Mm. It was more about the pokes to try to set up exactly what you were talking about, right? Literally just like, yo, you, how are you going to react to this? I'm going to hit you. A couple of times we saw Quiet Face Miles actually go for, like, these big launchers that crush lows. But it didn't work out. NYK, keeping it calm, simple, collected. Yeah, he played very compact. Not a lot of big moves. Like, the more you play Tekken, right, the less is more. So just really solid, safe, consistent options. Didn't do anything too fancy. And uh, yeah, really well played from MYK there. So nice and done. We'll get an updated bracket in case everybody's curious. Uh, it's going to get yeah. updated as well. We're going to watch this middle match here next, by the way. This Brawl Pro versus MYK. Uh, or sorry, this uh, this J Wong versus Brawl Pro match. This is the last okay. two teams we haven't seen. J Wong, a lot of people think that, you know, J Wong is just like a universal player. I mean, of just Street Fighter and Marvel. Nah, my man has actually made like top placings in Evos for Tekken before. On top of that, I've literally seen him play at like tournaments like MWC and stuff like that. So please don't be shocked. But even more so, going up against a player like Brawl Pro, which is actually like a hometown homie of mine. I've known Brawl Pro since its inception into the Tekken scene. Look, there's a lot of streamers here that even I'm not familiar with. I have a little experience with some of these guys. But most of this is coming from like Say Jam's understanding of how like the world of Twitch works. Right. And me personally, I'll be watching a lot of my homies and I do love watching the homies. So shout out to Say Jam for actually like doing the research, doing the homework and reaching out to a lot of these players to get them in here. Uh, so this is what the brackets are looking like after the first round. You saw the Brawl Pro team has won twice. You see that the MYK team has won twice. They're both 2-0 so far, which is a really nice W for them. And Team FDX is waiting for that spot for Scar to get a chance to play. And same thing with Team Justin Wong. Both teams have been 3 0 so far. We should have Team Justin Wong here up against Team Brawl Pro. It should be, the first match should be Connor Eats Pants up against uh, Slime. Brawl Pro Alt, yo. Yeah, Brawl oh, Pro cool. was on console and he like got the PC version and was like, these motherfuckers are gonna make fun of me if I'm low rank. So he like grinded to Tekken God on PC because he's like, these normie viewers on Twitch are gonna make fun of me if my rank's like first Dan. That's the first thing people talk about. This guy's only a blah, 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 blah. And I'm yeah. like, guys, come on now. First off, Tekken ranked, especially for eight, is actually pretty hard because there's so many people playing. And the yeah. minute you go from like one, like, color to another it gets serious like oh yeah there are times where i was like skating through the first few like parts of it. i'm like oh this is easy and i can't remember. i think it was like mighty ruler i got there and i was like wait a minute mm -hmm. it's got a little heavy it's a little harder to breathe in here now it's a little sweaty in People here get now. serious i'm like wait yeah a minute, wait dude a the thing is is they fight like it's their last day on the planet like that you think it's a like it's a game and they play like if they die it's over people want those promotion but they want the new office with the corner view so they can yeah. put a plant with their family pictures in there that looks out over the city. That's how important these promotions are. That's what I used to say battle. back in the arcade. I'm like, yo, he's trying to get a better job. He's trying to take care of his family with this promotion. But here we go. All right, we're into the match. Oh, I really got to send you my soundtrack, bro. Like, oh, I'm the playing the main right theme. Yeah, the, the stage, the normal stage theme, which I'm a big fan of. I think it's really good. I thought one of the one of the best songs in fighting games, hands, like hands down, no questions asked. Yeah, this theme is really good. I, I think it's very solid. Yo, Shadow the Hedgehog. Wait, it is Shadow. <laughs> I think Shadow. Right. Got the gun and everything. Man, this character is so fun. This Reyna character, I think, is like. If you learn her basic offense, I think she's one of the most overwhelming characters in the game. Yes. Like, you just learn offense, and then your opponent, this is what happens. They, like, they literally don't play the game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's literally one of those things where, like, she has, like, 4-4-2. Four, four, if you're not interrupting that, or the follow-up, or just, like, the Sentai stance, like, like transitions, it becomes so much harder to actually do it. This, that, dirt 4-4-2, four, four, yep, there yep. it is. If you don't know how to stop 4-4-2-3, four, four, then this character is like the best character in the game. Like it's, it's if you don't know how to duck it, it's an infinite actually. I, when I played ranked against all the new players doing 4 4 2 3, 1 1 was a true infinite. There was no way out. Okay, wait a minute. I like what we're seeing though. Yo, Slime. Oh. Like that, that is plus on block, so Slime's gotta respect it. Oh, he ducked. Oh, that was such a good duck. Oh, stuffed it. Oh my, oh. 1 1. Connor knocking on the door. So I'm gonna tell you right now, I actually think Slime canceled his uh, heat engagement because he oh. actually, I think he actually would have hit him early. Uh huh? Uh huh? I like the back one, goes in the hunting stance. 
Oh, no punish, but yeah, take the throw. That is launch the uh, bear twin piston. Yeah, just let me get away with it. Oh my. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, Justin. Justin Wong might have said to his first two players, if you want to learn a 10 string, I might recommend it. No, it's actually really good because if they don't know, and I think they changed the properties of, of the men in this game a little bit, so if they don't know how to deal with them. It's just a series of blows where you're not going to be able to interrupt. Oh my god, I'm so scared of the Rage Art. Both of them sitting on it here. <gasps> the scary like whip Connor. Oh my god. Oh my. No reaction. Cancel. Yo, God fist whiff punish? Oh! Yo, step on that bear. Step on that bear. Know your place. Oh. Yo, dog's a little Heiachi silhouette down there. Mm -hmm. This character is so cool. I I can't lie. I played Heihachi. He's my favorite Mishima in the older Tekkens, right? So I thought Heihachi was the coolest. So when they said his ass is dead, and I was pretty sad. And then they added Reyna, and I was like, let his ass stay dead. Dude. I was like, who needs this old man? I got Reyna, bro. There's so many. I literally was at the gym today, and my friend was like, yo, Steve, I heard Tekken's 8 out. I can't wait to play with Heiachi. I was like, oh, I've got some bad news, bucko. But I've got some good news, too, because Heiachi's <laughs> dead, but Reyna's here. So, hey. I'll take it. I mean, I love Heiachi. Heiachi's dope. But if Heiachi just screamed at you and said Soria instead of Doria, I mean, I can get behind that. Right? Uh, this character's so cool. And no breaking of the clothes whatsoever. Slime, you're in danger. Oh, that is a wall splat if he finishes the string fast enough, too. 2 2 1. It's yeah, a 12 frame punish. Cannon. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. I like the hard spike there. He engages. Try to take back the offense. He engages of my own. Both of them. Oh my like god. 4 1. Get the throw again. Just hit him with the mackerel. Oh, drag the bear. And throw. Oh, by the chest, by the way. Wait, yeah. I just noticed he has a gigantic honey on the side of his character. Winnie the Pooh, bro. He is. <laughs> oh, one, one, one. Huh? I like this combo, though. Back to one. Gets the wall splash this time. Big charge low. Big charge low again. Abuse it. This is what you gotta do. Wait, these are siblings, I just realized. Oh, wow. They are actually siblings. Heihachi's favorite son and daughter. <laughs> like that using the movement. Down four, two, one. Go full combo this time. Back one gets the splat. Had the counter hit, didn't commit to the string. Four, four, two. No, ca uh, Connor's doing the three a little slow, I think. Uh, uh. Oh, wow, drop right there. Oh, I just punch a bear in the chest. Mad damage. Oh my. Back one and the counter hit throw. Oh, wait, Meteor Rage Heart. With. Uh, uh. And the punish. A little too hype for his own good. Ran into it. The classic. You see the bear missing and you want to go in there and swing. Nice block. I love, I love the fact that Connor East Pants just goes right back to the throws. Like, you know what? You haven't broke one yet. The bear, bear booty. booty. Uh oh. Okay, I thought that might stuff the armor, but man, slime coming alive. Alright. Alright. Oh, gets a little life back off of that too, but full heat available. Breaks the throw this time. Wait a minute. Slime oh. says no, no thank you. Hands off, lady. And yeah, oh, there's a punish. He doesn't know. He does not know how to punish the one, one, one from Kuma. It is launch punishable. Yep. You can hit down four two, do a full combo, or if you want to keep it easy, you can do two, two, one, or one, one, two, or whatever you want to do, right? But Connor doesn't know, so Slime said, "Oh, cool. I'm just gonna do that over and over and over." I like the rebuttal. I like the rebuttal, though, because it was not breaking the throws at first. So it was really like getting the wins easy for Connor here. Also, thanks for the chat for making me remember. This is like the original Kuma's son. So I guess technically this is the grandson of Heihachi. I forgot that Kuma has, has his own lineage. Yeah. How could I forget? Like, this isn't even, this is not the first king. Yeah, this is not. This is King the Second. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I like the combos, though. Also, yeah, the original Akuma, the original Kuma, that guy was a jerk. Oh. Like, he was like, attacking people and everything. That was <laughs> a nice bear. Ooh. He taunted him, but he blocked a launch punishable move and taunted. Round 
I like the strat. Uh, oh, hold this armor. Back one hit. Yo, the stone head? My granddad taught me that. All right, armored up. I like that Connor's been doing that every round, and he's landed the heat smash almost every time. Oh, oh my god. Oh, wow. It just goes straight for the heat smash. That is also launch punishable. You hit the 1-1-2, one, one, so... Uh, speaking of ones, all the ones. Full launcher. Yo, Slime bringing it back. Hit him with the macro. 1-1-1. One, one, one. Last hit. Oh, my. Mess up the up one plus two, but... Not a big deal. Mm. I like that switch up. Goes for the mid instead. Oh, he goes for the keep. He goes key the key? Why oh, he key charge? You can't block when you do that. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> this, is, this fish is for you. He I guarantee he's trying it again. Oh my god, he got punished. Yep. Go step on that bear. Step uh, on that bear. Know your place. This guy's. Uh. These goddamn bear players, man. Oh. Yeah, that's a hard one to break, as in unbreakable. Uh. Oh, no pull. Oh my god, he didn't do anything on that encounter hit. One, one, one. The belly. The bear belly. I love this win pose. Come on. I'm a bear. I love it. My favorite thing is I'm a Kuma main in Tekken Ball. So you get to see this, and then the, the Tekken Beach Ball is bouncing around in the background. It looks tight. Wait, someone said Saikuno won his match? Oh, snap. Hey, chance? Chance for Scar to play the video game? What if his team wins 3-0 in reverse, and then his team, he doesn't get to play the game? Still no time to shine. It's sad, really. Yo, real talk, I'm trying to hold these Tekken Ball tournaments, man. I've, I've entered the first Tekken Ball tournament, and it was amazing. There's so many cheap things you could do with Tekken Ball. Like, and the tech acts, it gets deep. Like, I didn't know how deep it got, but then, like, I started playing on my own time. I'm like, wait a minute. Like, mm -hmm. and the tiers for Tekken Ball are different. I have to hit the I was not familiar with your game. Like, almost every time. You run into a law player just doing the, the nunchucks. One plus two. Yeah. Somebody, yo, chicken pizza, you just yep. one plus two. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. And then they start doing the double flip, double flips to chesties and, like, all kinds of made-up stuff. And I'm like, this is not good. I'm having a bad time. I'm about this Tekken 8, ready man. For the next battle. It's a fun little game. All right, all right. looks like I got to switch the sides on the name. I think I'm 0 for 12 on that. <laughs> so this is Celine up against Kony. That's going to be our match. Uh, yo, the dojo eyes. Looks like we're ready to go. He's got the he's got his outfit locked and loaded. The king. He played the game for four days and he made mighty ruler with king. Oh, I love the crowd getting hyped for the RKO. Yo, multi throw. Oh, you you gotta break those. The blue spark means he's actually doing the input. Yo, smitten kid with the break. I like it. She was ready. She was like, I'm out of here. Try to go for a punish right there. Hop kick, not the one. Takes the small. Oh, the simple. Big damage punish right there, and that hits you on the ground. And his oh. name is John Cena. Boy, 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 boy. I don't know why, but the John Cena custom for no reason. He does have the five moves of doom. That's what he calls it. So he's ready. Oh, power crush. Oh, goes for the actual follow up with that to mid this time. The five moves of doom. He's going down the list. Down back three. Four, four, neutral two. And the Tijuana twister. Twist that Tijuana. Mm-hmm. Coney looking good. He's got the flow chart and he's got it figured out. He does the point. He does the back three, one plus two into the tackle. He's got a couple of solid mids. The biggest thing about this, and like in general, if you're a new link player, is when you're scared and you don't know what to do, you got to AOP. Like if you're like, I don't know what's happening, I'm on defense, it's time to hit down one plus two. Eat engager. Also, I'm going to tell you right now, as a King player for years, it's historically one of King's worst matchups no matter what. Because mm -hmm. of AOP, specifically because of AOP. Yeah, it's well, tough, up, it's tough for him to hit down on the floor, right? Like, it's really, like, down forward one. Oh, knockdown. Yeah. Running three, mix up! Okay, yeah, it goes okay. right in his hands after running three. Fight. Yo, there it is. AOP, big launcher. It's and kitten. Hold on. Oh, went under that, too. The back yep. three. Under yep. the back three. Yep, and that's why it's cheap. I've historically hated this matchup, bro. It's, it's, it's for real. This is like a natural enemy of King. The natural predator in the wild? Yeah. Nice, the offense. Coney, listen, he hit purple in four days, but he hit purple in four days in parentheses king. He, I, I think he knows how to play king really well. Like he's got the mix-ups down and stuff, 
but there are some holes in the game plan, you know what I mean? So if you can get him on defense, you got a chance. If you live through this, goes for the low this time. Another low, back three, not gonna work. Gets the heat engager, Smitten Kitten, show me something. Finishes the string. I'm looking for the heat, oh. smash the up four, three plus four. I was wondering if she was gonna roll under. The, you know what I mean? I thought like, is she, she gonna have. roll under and then launch? Look, I'm gonna tell you right now, that actually would have worked exactly the way. If she would have did Cali roll, it would have worked. I 1,000%, uh, not even blinking. You don't even have to check the move list. It would have 1,000% worked. Yeah, very scary spot. All right, we got the rematch here. We'll see if Team Justin Wong, look at the AOP underneath. So somebody said, hustle, loyalty, respect for the chat. <laughs> <laughs> great, great on the throw. I hope Kony oh, starts uh, speaking Mandarin right now. Let, right? let me see. You a real John Cena fan? <laughs> Kony, let's hear it, bro. How do you say the five moves of Doom in Mandarin? Oh. Let me hear it. Oh, the RKO. Round two. It's so vicious. Fight. Oh, he doesn't know. Back three after. He doesn't jab check or anything. No duck. Oh my, he was hard committed. More lows. More lows. I guarantee you it'll work out. Uh, oh, she kicked her in the back of the head. Consistently oh. breaking the two throws. Told you. She'll definitely go under that bad boy. And, and on top of it, it's a high. So. Yeah, and that's the thing. you got to represent AOP, man. It's such an important part about this character, but especially in this matchup. Yep. Yep. Come back to Round three. I Fight. love the throw break starting to work out too. Power crush. Yeah, you gotta dub that. It's an unbreakable throw after Jaguar Sprint, so you actually have to dub. Yeah. And it's Ooh, scary because when he's, when he's in heat, the one launches, even if it's on a counter hit. Oh, stays back turn for the mix up. Oh, no My whip punish. Been the heat. Oh, you're dead. Oh, power bomb. Last chance here. Oh god, scary. No whip punish. Yeah. And no punish on that either. It's a really strong heat engager though. It's mid-mid. It was not a mid in the last game, so everybody ducks and gets hit by it. Yep. Cross to a back three. Oof. Uh, 4 4 2 this time. And the heat smash. Big damage. Running oh my three. god. Nice. And the alley kick for the closeout. The five moves of doom. Alley kick it's is John Cena. Bam, 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 bam. It's the ultimate round closer. It doesn't matter how long you play Tekken. It's like, yep, you just do it. Well done. Oh, man. His time is now, Steve. <laughs> the delivery on that actually coming. His time is now, I think. It's been good. The king, the five moves of doom actually holding strong. I think we got Afro Senju coming up. Yeah, Afro Senju. It should be Super TF versus Afro Senju. I think Super TF has the meanest Twitch chat on Twitch. Not wow. because they're mean, because like, you've ever been to Lakari's stream? They're like, you're bald, Lakari, you're bald. Like, that's what they do. That's mean, but it's not like very clever. Like, you know, it's very simple, right? That's just, yeah, that's simple mean. You can't when even you, be clever when you insult me. That's just mean. No, but <laughs> you go to Super TF's chat and they're like, I was having Dude, such a good day. Down. And then I got the notification you were streaming. And now my day is ruined. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, how are you ready so for mean? I, yeah, I'm like, oh my God. Like, how am I, I supposed to be ready for stuff like that? I don't, I don't want to go there anymore. I was like, I'll buy pull up and then that, yeah. Yeah, the meanest, the meanest switch chat on the platform. I don't know how he does. Wow. I can't believe that's an accolade there. Right? Is... Okay. Oh, they playing some Tekken. Hold on. Yeah, I oh, love that Tifa super. Reina? I love that super playing uh, the Tifa skin for Reyna too. Um, I thought that was really original. I've never seen that before. <laughs> His chat's rubbing off on me, man. That's nice. <laughs> right? I'm about to say. Throw it off of me, man. Afro Sendry had a really good start to that. And then, yeah, Super loves the 3 plus 4 in Heat. It's really solid. Uh, it gets, it gets a, a better follow-up in Heat, so it's a pretty good thing to just represent. He just he does it all the time. Yeah, that throw. Out of stand. Bro, that move. So annoying. Go straight for the Heat smash. Uh, and it beat the armor, that. too. Nice, the low. Oh, man. And the round closer, too. Brutal there. A couple of rounds where Afro Senju, I think, was in it, but yeah, Super just closing out. Right. Big splash here. 
Snowball. Uh-huh. Finishing. Oh my god. Actually, clip at the start of the level. So gotta oh. be careful here. Oh my god. The power crush, power the crush. plus frames. Down Yo. forward, one, two. I'm telling you, this character is like. Yeah, she has like the best offensive flowchart. You just if you know how to run it, it is really, really hard to get her off of you. It's super scary. He brings out the chair like Dr. Doom, time to choose. Surrender or die. Round one. I love the crawling. Cra Goku crawling in to fight people. Double one to block. Oh, tightening it up. I like it. Testing the defense, right? Jabs, down forward twos. Just seeing if he's ready for the string defense. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh -huh. The engager. Tries to back up the gifts of rule. Mix up after. Ah. Uh, the class. Afro still has heat, though, so you gotta watch out for that running, too. Oh, yeah. Just raw heat smash. Not dead, though. Nice. Down two. I like it. I like the option. You know, she's minus after that. I think she's minus nine on the the two follow up there. So down two is a good little check. Oh, big damage on the wall. That first god fist we see. What a block by Afro Sinju though. Hold on. And the hell sweep. Super representing some new stuff. I like it. So annoying. Mm -hmm. And she just harasses you, man. 1-1, one, 1-1. One, one, one. And if it hits 1-1-2, one, one, Sentai 3 or Sentai 4, she gets plus range. Yo, those, those heat electrics, bro. One of the most dangerous tools. Mm -hmm. Oh, traded on the heat smash. That is, oh my god, really? The old break on the throw. Wait a minute. Rage Art available, though. Oh. Said it. You activated it and it's actually gonna hit. I know we're on the asteroid headed back towards Earth, but the tundra is where I live. Oh, oh this is one hell a one hit day. game. <gasps> oh my! If he did running too, that get up kick would have got hit the hell sweep. I cannot believe that reach. Okay, don't hit the ground. No splash. Oh, you go uh, yo. Just a 1 1 pressure. Wow, Stan. Okay, <gasps> wait a minute. Wow, why is it 1 plus 2? Wait a minute. Oh, he hit her in the back. Oh my god, the power crush, too. That was a chance. Oh, try the running, too. You missed it. It's okay, though. Big lead now for Afro. Down two block. I don't think that was a proper punish, but the follow up. Oh, that's gonna hit. That was a throw. Oh, you're dead. Yo, Afro sent you. Keeping it close. Another player I was watching last night, actually. Yeah, he did uh, no end of the stream until I hit purple, part four. So, you know, that's how you know it's rough. You had no end, and then I'm, like, still trying to hit purple on the fourth one. Oh, my. Down four, two. I wonder if that was an electric attempt. Ooh. Checking the string defense. Just saying, are you going to hit a button? Are you going to do something? It's not your turn. Hit break on the throw now. Afro kills you. He's getting his legs about him right now. Mm -hmm. I like the down two. Oh, he tried down two and it got stuffed by the forward forward two. This could this could be the beginning of the end. Oh, oh yeah. that was really good. A, a nice like cash out situation is when you know your opponent's life is low. Just using your heat engager. It's so good. Yeah. Sometimes you just get that last hit needed because you're going to take the armor anyway. Right. It's one of those things too. You got to just know, right? You got to just be like, all right, cool. I, my opponent's really low. Run up heat engager. If they get hit, they die. Even if they don't get hit, you can just do it on block and then get some pressure of force with the 50 50. So. Counter hit throw. Hold on. Oh my. Uh, be careful. Oh my scary whiff. Oh! Launcher. Chance for the combo. Yo, cool combo. Afro, did you hold up? And that's scary. Oh. You know, if you're super, that is a confidence hitter, right? You're just like, oh god. Uh, he tried to cancel it to keep himself safe. 50 50 here. Nice duck! The tackle! Uh, the unbreakable tackle. Uh, not dead yet. But He's also one guess away. Range. Oh, I, wait, he might have done oh, nothing. Hit a button? Nope. And I'm taking the throw. Break her leg. That little on the leg when it hits, you're like, oh, my bad. My fault. The leg break sound effect in Tekken is just too good. It's so good. It sounds like someone cracking their knuckle. 
<laughs> I'm like, okay. Uh oh. The one one just to see how you're gonna react. Mm -hmm. Activates the heat. Oh. Yeah, she's got plus frames on that, so you know, it's a good spot to get out of there if she's going for the one jab. 50 50 here. Mid this time. One round apiece. Oh, oh wow, dodge this. Wait a minute. Yo, trying to go for the flashy stuff. Yo, super TM. Mm -hmm. uh, he does like doing electric. Oh, combo chance again. Afro was clean on this last time. Wow. Oh, he Yo, tried it. Stuff. Yo, the. Ah, oh, yeah. Stuck. I would love to see when Afro blocks 1 1 to try to down 2 or some other low poke maybe to go under it. Tackle again. Oh, yeah, no break. Oh, oh my command throw mix up. I like it. Tricky. Too. I bet, like, like, there's no chance Super is getting out of that, right? It's a tricky little round yeah. closer option. Fight. Go for two, one, four, two. Oh, four, four from Rain. Oh, he tried running two and he missed it. This is a big chance for Super to get offense now. Yeah, that's plus on block. Oh. Two, oh, that was real. He did not use heat for that. Uh, uh, uh. Tackle. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, jumping the laid hop that, kick. Man. Tackle again, make you break it. I'm gonna make you break it. <gasps> oh, again! Point again, are you dead? You got a sliver, make it count. Ah, uh, the blatant low afro. Finju takes a 2-1 over Super TF. I like how it took him a second to get in there, though. That wasn't like an instant, you know what I'm saying, game. Because it was looking pretty good for Super TF for a while. Mm -hmm. But afro Finju was just playing a little nervous. And now ran it all the way back with the dragon off. All right. And this means that Box Box gets to play the game. He doesn't have Yo. to sit there and just watch. And, you know, if it wasn't for Box Box, I don't think this tournament would exist. He's, he started playing Tekken. And then FDX started coaching him. Then everybody started getting more interested in Tekken. Everybody wants to play Tekken. So, you know, he helped organize this a bit and he was interested in playing. So I'm happy that he gets to play some matches. And he's fighting the demon. They call Lazy Matman Jack Jesus. This man is Jack Jesus. He is a Binding of Isaac YouTuber, right? That's what he does. He plays Binding of Isaac. But he actually played Dragon Ball. He got like 33rd at Evo one year and liked that game. And then he picked up Tekken. And Boxbox Box played Street Fighter a little earlier. You guys may remember like six months ago. He made Master yes. in Street Fighter with Luke. So he's up against Jack Jesus. And these two have played a couple of times. You said he took a game off versus Anakin? What? No, he didn't take a game off Anakin. He beat Anakin in a Jack mirror. What? And the Jack off? He, yeah. What? He, he was the winner of the Jack off. There can only be one winner in the Jack off. Dude. That's true. Know. Yeah. Well, you can't both win. Yeah. Only one. All righty. We got Lazy Matman player one. I'll get that updated. And box box player two. A class. Yo, he's got the tears. You saw the tears? I didn't get that hair from the eyes, bro. What? Yeah, he's got a beard that is blue and he's equipped it to his eyes so that he has tears flowing down his face. My man's always crying. Oh yo. He calls that by the way. What a bad day. Lakari taught him that and he calls that the Lakari spin. Uh, that's his, his technology, which I think I is great. I got combos. Ooh, my man wants the wall. Yo, Mr. Matman. Oh, with the power dropping through the floor? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Uh. <gasps> the oh, classic box box rage art. He is the he's the best rage arter in the West, Steve. I don't think anybody else is better at landing rage arts than box box. He abuses the charge rage art. I love the replay. Yo, shout outs to Ness. Oh, 10 frames on that. It's so fast. Box Box goes under. Mix up chance oh, for the round. Nice block. Oh! Inner strength not gonna work. Magic four. Oh my god. It's no longer magic, but you still get a free. Yeah, for her it's magic. She gets a combo. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, whiff. Chance though, Box Box yeah. cooking. I think his offense is really clean. That's like the biggest thing about him. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Break up, go right there. Engage. 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 Oh, he did the box jump. He has some technology, uh. Steve. He jumps, and then he recognizes that he gets a wild standing move, so he does a launcher. 
Okay. That that is his Tekken technology. Calls it the box jump and the oh my the big boot the gamma hal new stuff. Yo, lazy Batman with the spacing right there to get the whip and the punish. Hold up. Yeah, you gotta duck that or else like that can just keep running away. When it gets the blue spark on that volcano buster throw, full combo conversion. Mm, nice spacing from Batman. The back dash got him out of there. Oh my surprise. Oh, uh, uh. Yo, the jump into the tilt a world backbreaker? And then I'm planting seeds in this barren like wasteland? Bro, that was the sneakiest setup of all time. Down forward two out of nowhere. Uh, yo, that man. Uh, uh. Yeah, I don't think yo. he knows that the, the high boot on that it does give you plus frames. Oh, he got him with the rage art here for sure. Okay, and got a little damage on it as well, so it's gonna crake the damage, and you're gonna get a little bit of life back. I love the ooh, do, 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 do. Mm -hmm, The noise on it's so good. Oh, he tried to activate the heat. Yeah, so he's got Naniwa buff the whole time here. Oh, and it's oh, dropping on him. Ugh. Look at the tears flowing down his face. The fact that they move is really creepy. Yeah, it's terrifying. Yeah, I think it's one of the grossest things I've ever seen. It's pretty gross. It's pretty gross. I'm glad we agree on that, because that's disgusting. Okay, who if you were in his chat and you gave him that idea, you're a bad person. I did not. When I saw it, I was like, you are evil. I don't like the way that looks at all. If you're in his chat and you didn't tell him about it looking gross, you're a bad person. Yeah, and this is, I think, two of the highest uh, ranked players in the tournament for everybody. These are they're uh, two of the highest first seed. Yo. Down back one. Yeah. Yo, the perfect this time, yo. Blazy Batman. More like sweaty Batman. Then a hug. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, floor break not a threat yet. Oh my god, no break. Yo, yo, my man is a pro. Nobody goes for that. Unless you're a pro, you know? Armor's through. Chance for box box on offense. <gasps> Trade. Too far. Oh. Deep smash hits. There's the floor break. Actually, if he would have let that regular throw rock and not done like the special one, he actually would have got the floor break. Mm -hmm. And that running one plus two. Box box getting another round on the board. These two have been, it's been pretty close. It was uh, fourth round on the last game. Now round of peace. No punish. Oh man, he doesn't know. That's a good sign for Matt Man. Oh, I like the little standing too. Breaks the floor. Uh -huh. While standing four, crank it up. Back one. Oh, tornado at the end. I'm spinning it all. Mm -hmm. I like that too. Now he's got heat activated and. Oh, yeah, this is a rough spot for Box Box. Oh my. Nice block. Oh, this is a chance. Okay. He still has heat. He still has Rage Art. Box jump. Oh my. And he, oh. he whiffs and he Whiff just goes for it. Oh my god. He looked for the counter hit and he's got the Rage Art. Gonna hit. You are dead. I think he's oh, dead. You are dead. I, I think he's dead. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty what sure. That, what, that, what is that dead? Oh my. The base. I love neutral jump while standing three whiff. Armor. Side step two. Oh. Track and move, yo, the twister. Down forward to the sniper. Always feels so bad to get hit by. Uh huh? Takes the open right there. Yo, Mad Man. Uh. Spins all the heat up. Uh. You gotta be careful too. The guard, the guard breaks is a big threat here too because you get the. Uh, the oh my God! Goes under. Goes under, and he gets his own rage art. Yo, calling it in from outer space. Oh, those gross tears. Oh my god, the zoom in on the tears is gross. He's dead. That did so much damage. Final round between these two. Oh man, opens his eyes from a nightmare and he's crying. Mm -hmm. He hit him with the Unabeam. Oh my. Superior tech. Oh, throws him out of the Show armor. Ass this air, though. Show ass in this air, though. Uh, I want the Oki. Actually, no. Oh, that was cheap. 50-50. You're teaching me. Ah, uh, I love it, man. Madman had nice, a nice little setup. He had like a weird back turn hit there, like, and he turned it into a heat, into Oki, into heat dash pressure, into mix up. That was really, really clean. Yo, the Jack ate though. <laughs> that was that was a really good match. I think those are.
two of the highest level top players that we have in the tournament for all the streamers participating. So I'm really happy we got to watch that match in particular. The Rage Art callouts were really good. Also, yo, Box Box with the whiff punishment though. Mm -hmm. That was actually something that really kind of, I was really impressed by. Just able to like play at this range. Right. Actually bait it out like a couple times, uh, an attack from uh, Matt Man where he got the whiff punish with the big elbow. So just a lots of back and forth between these two. And it, like I said, you can tell they've really been grinding. No one's eliminated today. Today's the day for everybody to get, get a chance to play each other. Get kind of like a feeling, you know, of what everybody's doing out there. And then after they get like the feelers from everything, tomorrow you got to meet with your coach and be like, yo, man, he was doing this dumbass string. I don't know what this shit is at all. How do I beat this? And then you can give some advice on how to beat them for the next time. So that's the purpose of today to get everybody to play. So that Sunday is like the, you come back from the hyperbolic time chamber, like, well, 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 I learned your move. Team Brawl Pro won. Uh, they're, they're set against Team Jay Wong. And then it looks like Team FDX won against Miles. Team Joey Fury has defeated Team MYK. So our match, the next round, we have Brawl Pro and MYK. And then this last round, this Joey Fury team is still undefeated, by the way. This, this Joey Fury team has not lost yet. And uh, neither has the Brawl Pro team. Man, I told you. And also just pointing out, like, Joey Fury is a really good coach. Mm -hmm. uh, he's one of those players that, like I said, he really takes advantage of not only like the system, but like what your characters are doing too. So he really is a good coach to have on your team because his play style kind of goes around exactly that. He really is good at like, okay, did they block this? Are they prepared for this? You mm -hmm. got to start dealing with across the board and then adjust your game plan for that. NYK is just an all out like book of knowledge. He was like, well, what character are they playing? All right, you can punish this, this, and this. They're going to be looking for this, this, and this, and you should be using this, this, and this. Like that's the kind of player he is. And Brawl Pro just gets in there and he's just like, look, I know exactly what to do in these situations. And he kind of puts the opponent on tilt right. a lot of times. And he really kind of overwhelms. He's been playing a lot of Paul. So cool, we're going to have PDX versus Justin Wong's team. These two are scrapping down there so far. We just saw uh, Jay Wong's team play the other time. So I'm excited to see them play again. We also got to saw, see Box Box play for the first time, which is cool. The match is about to start up for everybody wondering. It's going to be Connor Eats Pants versus Saikuno. Uh, I'll see which side is which. Battle. Yep, the sides look right. Let me whoop, bring us on over and I'll get the teams loaded in here. So it'll be Team Jay Wong on the one, or sorry, on the two player side and then Team PDX on the third side. Round one. More Reyna. Asu Senna. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Back it up a little bit runs right into the launch. <laughs> I love what we've seen from Saikuno so far. He has only played the game. I've only seen him play like twice, and he's already a vanquisher with this character. And his natural instincts are pretty good. Okay. Yo. Oh, one plus two. That is a counter hit launch. It's a high. It's pretty fast. Safe on block. It's a good little move. Once again, I love the kind of East Pants goes back to these throws. Like, yo, if you don't show me you're going to break them, then I'm going to commit to them. Speaking of, I don't need to break them if I just hit you with a raw rage art. Mm -hmm. Big just goes for it. Bah. I can't wait to have some coffee. <laughs> oh, right. runs up for the throw. Bam. Breaks the uh, neck. Nice round there from Saikuna. I love the offense. Down back four. That's a, it's such a good low. It's really solid. It's minus on hit unless it counter hits, but it's a really good low to threaten with. It has a big range. Hey, I was about to say the range on that is actually really good. Yeah. Oh my god, he got right into stance right away. Takes the throw off the forward forward two. You gotta duck it. Yeah, I, I like the range that Connor is playing at, but, but also I like the adjustment by Tycooner to actually start using like these long range moves. Actually stands up straight, break on the throw. Oh my, that's gonna hit. Yeah, in general, in Tekken, if someone's in a stance, Rage Arts are not a bad call. Uh, the exception is when King points at you because he can cancel it now. Uh, okay, still alive, though. Not dead just yet. Oh three. my, oh my! Repeat up into the slow mo! Oh my god, Saikudo! Oh, that was good. Three in a row, why not? Why not? If he's not blocking it, he's not gonna punish it. Just go for it. One one. Goes for the big low out of Liberator. Oh god. Oh. Not sure what that was on the wall. Engage. Nice. Look for the power crush or the uh, the heat engage rather. Four four. Help. Yo, rage art, and it's gonna hit. Actually, eats a hit, so there's gonna be more damage, and I'm gonna get a little bit of life back. Uh huh. Big damage. Oh, 
interrupt too with the 1-1. One, one. Goes mid. Oh, he gets stuffed. Oh, raw smash. Oh my god. Oh, oh the slow-mo again is just a simple 1-1. One, one. Oh, dude. That's all you need. Sometimes a little sip of coffee, get the 1-1, the one, one, puts you in liberator stance, you're good to go. Yo, Sejam, do you love coffee so much that you would be evil Sejam for it? Because that's what her story is. Steve. She's so, she loves coffee so much that she's evil for it. Steve, your family's on a train track, so you must pull the lever. Wow. You have to see it. You either have to sacrifice them or sacrifice the whole earth. You have 10 minutes right. to make your choice. For the cold brew? That's crazy. Round one. Oh, man. Look, even her laugh echoes here. That's, that's true evil right there. Yeah, I would do it. <laughs> yeah, I'd do it. Uh -huh. Oh, wall pressure? Nice. That's a punish. Uh -oh. oh, God. Yep. Yeah. This character definitely gets to run away with oh. it. And oh, my God. Did you see the spacing on that? Yo, again? There was no break. Bunny 3 2. And that is. Gonna be it. Dude, with Kill a week of brain. play, with a week of play, Saikuno could be the Evo champ. That's unbelievable. How did he play for like a half day and this is where he's at? Oh wow, tries to get through with the armor. Yo, Connor. Starting to get a little more offensive and it really did change up the pace already. But not for long, but Saikuno back in there. Dude, the 1-1 one, one low, the running 3-2. Down back four. He has the he has the whole toolkit. Oh my god. Oh my god. The rage our success rate is so good. Not dead though. No. Life lead, Saikuno. We've seen two slow mos already. Too far down back four. Man. He, I gotta say, has been using like he's got the five moves of Doom of his own. Like he's got four or five moves that he just brings out over and over and he's chilling. I really like the rotation though. Like, yo, are you gonna break these throws? No? Well, I don't feel the need to do anything else. You get a little too over anxious. I'm gonna go either for Heat Engager or Raw Rage Ride, depending on what my life is. Oh, he tried the combo. I like it. He want he wanted down two three into the uh forward one two or four one two and liberator. Oh god. It's like I love the defense too. He just waited it out. Down back four, the delay. Wow, wait a minute. Wait, did you Try to run into it. Oh, wow. That's going to be your dead. Surprise. Oh, God. I like the jump scare in the middle of a rage art. Oh. Easy peasy. Well done there from Saikuno. I got to say, I'm very impressed with how he's playing today for someone with his level of time put into the game. He's, he's looking real solid. Oh, yeah. If, if Steve sounds quiet, it's because he, he fades away from his mic. Look. He, oh, yeah. See how, you see that? Around. I move around a lot. I gotta be careful. I move. I look. I move around quite a bit. So I'm sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. Steve's a mover. He can't sit yes. still. You know the thing about Steve is he doesn't do it for any other reason that he's so excited he can't sit still. No. When I tell you, I'm like, oh, oh, like I'm literally doing this while I commentate. So I'm sorry, guys. Just in <laughs> case you're new to me, I'm legit because I'm actively. You know how you used to play games when you were younger, like you were actually in the game. You're like, oh, oh. I, I still do that. People I'm still do that. I seen yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> there was this clip of this VTuber who like every time she was about to parry in Sekiro, she would like lean forward. So like her, her VTuber avatar would lean every time before the hit to like get the parry. And it was cracking me up because I was like, that is literally the gamer lean. My boy Sean, he would call it getting closer to the pixels. You're like, uh oh, wait a minute. I got it. <laughs> getting closer <laughs> to the pixels. Yeah, you you got to get closer to the pixels, bro. All right. We got our next match. It's going to be Emily or no, actually it's Lily versus Smittenkin. Okay. Yo, hold it down real quick. I'm going to go get some coffee. I'll be right back. Yeah, go for it. Get some I love coffee. Go for it. All right, we got our next match. This is going to be the one. Sides should be the same, I believe. Here. Fight. Get that out of the way. There you go. Oh, actually, I got to fix them. I'll swap the sides real quick as this is happening. Oh, man. He engaged right away. We'll see the mix-up. She does have the hypnosis mix-up down. She's got the right ideas about when to represent those things. And I think that if you're a Xiaoyu player, I mean, you guys know, right? Like, this character is not the easiest character to play. She takes some investment, for sure. But I'm impressed by how much she's learned the game so far on a character that's honestly probably not very natural to play if you're new to the game. All right, we're back in this. Mm -hmm. Oof. 
Yo, I'm awesome. really, really impressed by Lily, though. I, I will say that. Yeah, she almost beat Kony. She's the closest to beating Kony so far in all the matches I've seen. Here. Pick up. I like that. It really does just take the open. We'll legit be like, okay, I know you need to do something big here. I'm going to run up and see how you react. Right. Really good. Look at the pickup. Yeah, her, call, her combo execution is usually pretty consistent. Oh. Yeah, yeah. She, that's the music in her hands, you know? That's what she does. Feel the rhythm. Yeah. I mean, it really, when she misses a combo, she says, I hit the wrong note. <laughs> that is so anime. I love it. Not enough. Mix up the kill. Oh, it was side. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, the down four. Oh. Oh my god. The offense in this match is kind of crazy. They're swinging. I like it. Oh. Yeah. Everybody gets hit by that. That hits everybody, I feel like. Yep. Hypnotist just goes for the big low. Boom. This string is so cheap when you're in heat. The low again. That'll Jeez. do it. The offense is clean. It's clean. Yeah, and I think the the first part of that is high. So actually, if you duck the first part, then you can maybe like down one and like interrupt it, but it's so fast, especially while like she's in heat, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, she's trick. I think, you know, a lot of people think Xiaoyu is really solid, and like a lot of the stuff that she has in heat is so terrifying. Besides her like obviously good stuff, you know, all of her generic moves that are just really solid and stuff, her ability oh. to threaten in heat is really good too. Also, yeah. Smitten Kitten, like, actively is like trying to find like ways to like open up lily on like offense like stuff like that like just backing up using aop gets the back turn elbow and just moving right there for lily man they are good i am such a fan mm -hmm. yeah especially i mean i don't know if you saw but lily is already like i bought a tekken cosplay and i'm going to evo yo oh my oh, that's gonna hit uh big damage mm -hmm. the life is low that means more damage Mm -mm -mm -mm. Tons of damage too. One one guess for the round actually. She just gotta find a way to engage. I like the safe pokes. Now in rage. Now in rage. Yo, the rolling throw? So cheap. That was tricky. So cheap. Yeah, I knew that Lily was afraid of the rage R, right? So like why not just go for some offense? that he early gets caught ducking with the running three, goes straight into AOP, and the combo convert yo smitten kid. Nice. Um, I love it. Lily got stopped trying to go for the heat engager like twice, right? Or the uh, heat smash. So she just stopped. She was like, okay, I just need to block, I guess. And then got the opportunity. Nice one, too. Small little cash out there. Tries to hit a button while you're in negative and continues the offense. What a button choice by Kid. She's doing, I think she's doing really well so far. I'm mixing up her options, too. Oh, no. Follow up. Offense now for Lily. Huh. Say neither of them wants to block. You don't need to block when you're fighting, bro. Come on now. Do you think uh, they paid eighty dollars to buy Tekken, four dollars for retro costume, and then said, "I'm not gonna hit any attack." You're crazy. Unbelievable. You're, you're crazy. Okay, wait a minute. It's not over for Lily to get. I'm not gonna block. I'm definitely not trying to block. I'm not here to block. You think I, I came all this way, all the way to the internet to block? You're crazy. They're on an asteroid that fell into the sea with tornadoes back there, and you're like, you should just uh, block. Right? You think those people back there drowning on that tanker are like, man, they should block more. Did you know? No, they're like, come save me. Blocking does no damage. <laughs> and you win in a fighting game by doing damage. Thoughts. Food for thought. <laughs> does not reduce the life bar. But speaking of reduced life bar, Lily goes down, Smitten Kitten goes up. That was a fight, though. Yeah, that was a scrappy battle for sure. Impressive stuff from Celine. She gets a W on the board. And yeah, the oh, thing man. is, games like this, it's much easier for you to learn offense and defense, right? That's just a mm -hmm. general rule. It's much, much harder to learn how to defend. And so like for new players, especially in this kind of a game, you got to go kill the other person. Yeah. That's your strategy. You got to go kill that other person before you die. Both of them clearly have offense and their combo choices down, right? So if you don't know what to do on defense, you, you can't be there. You're, it's going to be a bad time. To point out, like, one of the things they changed in Tekken 8 was, like, they wanted you to be more offensive. Yes. And, like, she was doing it. Both of them was doing it really well. Like, they kind of, like, bided their time until they got, like, that big hit. And then, boom, offense, heat engage, boom, go. Like, they really played the game exactly how you're supposed to play it. So 
I would, I'm telling you right now, well, the only thing that happened was somebody started their offense first, and that's when you need to actually defend, you know? So. Yeah. Oh, I see Toast is back on the Steve Fox. So Ooh. what's been happening, right, to, to break it down for everybody at home? Like Captain Falcon, what's been happening is that he didn't want to play Steve because he tried to play Steve, and he was like, man, this character's too hard, you know? Like, I don't know if I'm going to play him, etc. So he, he switched it up. He was like, you know... I'm, I'm gonna go back to, to playing King. This is like the easy mode character, right? That was basically his his breakdown of how he wanted to do it. But I, I think he's just way more comfortable in this character, you know? I think it just makes a lot more sense for him to play it. Oh, Lionheart. Look at my man going off. I like that. A little down 4 4. Oh. Catches him out of the startup there. Get up attack actually saves him. Oh. He engaged. Bang. Whiff on the Sonic thing. No punish, but yep. Whoop. That'll Bye. do it. This is like obviously he's more comfortable Sorry. on this character, right? So, like when he plays he King, he's trying to like do a Coney impression, but it was just less time. <laughs> I like this. Should definitely stick with the speed. Yo, Afro Cindy, though. We saw what happened last time. And he literally was like, yo, that first game didn't go his way. Yo, the get up tackle, get off of me, bro. I I know. But not this one. Ugh. Oh, tricky. I love he's that got he these dude, legs, bro. Afro started doing this in the middle of the last set, and I love that he's just doing it now. He's like, alright, this is working. I'm gonna just run this. What a block on the low though. Lionheart stats uses the armor of the heat engager to get through and go straight for the smash. Ugh. Oh no break. Side swap. Running to I love the pressure so far from Toast. I think it's simple and solid. Power dunk! Oh, are you okay? Boom. Oh, another one. Yo, you're not breaking the throw. You're trying to use throws against me and you can't even break them? That's the secret, Steve. If you throw someone a lot, you can't break throws. It's the rule. Oh. I don't know if that was a setup or not, but it was genius. Yo, back two. Out there. Oh, he canceled it and got punched in the face. My man was fixing his, he was fixing his sweatbands and got punched in the face. Yo, oh, raw heat smash. I told you, Afro Sinju is really good at this. He like goes down two rounds and he's like, you know what? Let me play. Mm, My no man break. started the round and said, I'm done playing around. Ugh. Oh man. Oh, he canceled it again. He's by. He's down so much life. This will help him heal a little bit though. The tackle. The legs. My man, he got these legs, bro. We haven't seen this do Captain Falcon's legs until Smash Bros, dude. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, off the wall. Oh, straight into the Rage Art. Bringing out the eyes. This is gonna be close now. Toast in rage, by the way. So you know the rage art's a threat. Get up, kick. Oh, he goes right for the rage art, but he should be blocking. And there's the punish. Game one to Afro Sendu. This is exactly what I was talking about. We saw this last time. Afro Sendu was getting beat up at the last game. That those first games, first rounds was not looking good. But then he always runs it back. I love the stare right into the camera. He's like, what up? Does, do you think he knows he's in a video game? He comes right up to the camera. Yeah, he does. He it up. Look in the fourth wall. This dude. Uh. Running two pressure again. Oh, no down two, but yeah, catches the launcher on those trying to swing. This is the first time we've actually started seeing Apple Center use like running two. Yeah, uh. I think you're right. I imagine Justin would have told them like, you know how Justin is, he's like, yo man, use that cheap running two, use that cheap down two. Oh my. Yo. Tried to do it again. Back two. <laughs> no Sonic Fang. Oh my back yo, swing miss. Like... Get off of me, bro. Fire! Fire! Oh my. Alright, he smashed on the tackle on block. Oh. The follow through on that bad boy, yo, spring. Yeah, that has worked multiple times he's done that. Uh huh? Let me get that. Uh, nice. Combo. Get off of me, bro. Hands off the D. Uh, I love it. You know, when we watch Afro, it really feels like his neutral game, he's not sure exactly about what moves he wants to use, but his combos have been very consistent. Just like this. And the high wall splat too. Oh, that new string in there on top of it. Oh, and then he's got him. The oh, tricky good. stuff. Break his neck. Grabbed him by the helmet. You win. Get off of me. You just got those legs, bro. You just got those legs, bro. It's so I never thought that you don't even see his legs until, man. Dude, think about it. I literally look as an F-Zero enjoyer, bro. 
I know my man has never seen his own legs. We no. as gamers have never seen his legs, dude. Man, Ma said in the chat, CQC, you son of a bitch. That's my favorite. It's got to be like a top three Tasty Steve lines of all time. The Chris Redfield snap in the neck and you just go, CQC, you son of a bitch. He Please just takes him out. The way he takes him out. And it's like, <laughs> like Chris Redfield is such a square, you know? Like, it's not even like it's like the sick. You're like, oh, like it's just Chris Redfield just firing the hole. Like, just... <laughs> it's so lame. But oh my God, dude. No, Leon Kennedy. That's for sure. Leon's the go, bro. That is true. I don't know why he's not a Power Ranger. I'm going to be real. And once I saw him in Resident Evil 4, I'm like, you should definitely try out for the power. We dove out that window. I was like, oh, you're up, dude. Why power? Yeah. Like, that's the pinnacle of, like, where people need this to aim for in life. Instant flipping and flipping over cameras, that's that's 100% Power Rangers. Like, I don't, like, if you go back and look at it, that's what Power Rangers do. You got to be a pro to do that shit. I'll never forget when we were in Texas Showdown in, like, 2016, and we were going to walk under this bridge to go eat dinner. And this guy, Steve, goes, nah, man, you can't go that way. And I said, why not? He's like, you see that bridge? That looks like where the putties come out in Power Rangers. If we go <laughs> under this bridge to go try to eat food at 1 a.m., the putties are going to jump our ass and we'll die. That was the, no Power Rangers coming to save us, bro. Battle. That was the no, most street smart shit you, I've bro. ever heard in my life. When I heard that, I was like, that's street smarts that you can't buy. That's like, well, this, look, this guy knows. Say, Jam, I am from the hood. But here we yeah. go. <laughs> I know, and that's where the putties live. I understand. <laughs> oh, big counter here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my, out of the air. Explosion. That's my people. Oh my god. <laughs> the way it goes, man. That's what he does. I promise, Raiden got coaching from JDCR, and he showed him a match between him and Skara, and JDCR said, your friend likes to do expulsion. I oh. see that that's his strategy. I think they like to do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it had armor on it, so you had to respect it. Anyway, uh, launch your feet, a big launcher. You can break the floor. You will break the floor. Oh my, he oh. anti-aired the expulsion. Oh, that was sick. Fight. Oh, man. Uh oh, there's the, oh, the armor, it begins. Running two. Yeah, running two, do it again. Oh, oh, scary whiff. Fox walks with a chance. Wow, he anti him again. Yo. Oh my. Uh. Oh. Dude, Box Box is escaping with his life. I do not know how oh. these expulsions are not hitting. Yo, Judiker. 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 Yo, get plugged. Oh, the pickup. Nice. The floor break is available. I'm not sure if he knows it or not. Okay, doesn't go for it. Ooh. Oh, he did the whole string into the mid box. Yo, for real? Yo, for, yo, box box. That was actually godlike. I love the way she walks off too. She's like, damn, I washed your ass. And then she just Got starts him. taking a step <laughs> off. Got him. <laughs> I, I speak Japanese, I'll translate. She says, damn, I washed your ass. And she just takes a little step. Oh man. Oh, I love that. Armor through. Gets the, oh my god, it goes over the wall. Down two. Yo, box box. Oh I my. love what I'm saying. Big counter hit, you're dead. You cheeky son of a... Why did you do that, man? Why are you like hey, this? Hey, Victor a chance? Do you know who this is? I hate his... He's such a content-brained memer. He can't just do the goddamn combo. He's got to be like, wouldn't it be funny? setting himself up right now. This is gonna be Oh good. my, you're oh, such a he got caught and the floor break? He's such no. a fucking streamer, man. The expulsion, you're such a streamer. It's not a wow. YouTube video, it's real life. This is real life. But dad, I wanted to look cool for my YouTube friends. This is not how it works. You guys are fucking it's streamers, man. It's unbelievable. Oh my, nice block. Forward to duck cancel. Oh, and the armor on the armor. Oh, he got him. bit because you take a hit as well. Good, 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 good. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Damn, and the noise on that is so good. I never even noticed it's that so until you good. said it. Bro, that reminds me of regular show. When he's like, What's wrong, man? They hit him with a replay. He's like, yo, I felt like I went through that wall three times. Do you think <laughs> Victor felt it three times? <laughs> you get triple punch. Deuce, deuce, deuce. 
Oh, oh. nice block. No launch, though, but he still got the wild sending four. Oh, I like it. Yeah, yeah. Take it the little pokes. Nothing too fancy, you know. Waste out the heat. Uh. Oh, God. Oh. Nice whip punish. And it breaks the floor. This should be a combo here for Box Box. It's off axis. No! Oh, no. Oh, oh God. Oh, Rage yeah. Art available for Skara as well. Oh, he was trying to get him to do it. He got him back instead. Gotcha. The Box Box Classic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bro, I love her recoil. Like, she actually has to recover herself. Mm -hmm. you with that bad boy. Man. Oh, back three. The timing. He does have a floor break, too. And yeah, he knows it. That was actually sick. Yo, box, box, box. Box on top of box. Box squared. Mm -hmm. Squared box. Two box. Oh, running. Yeah, Justin told him to use that move more. And man, it's been working out. Mix up doesn't work out. Oh, cancel. Full oh, crap. Look at the mix ups from. Bo oh, my. Nah, bro. Are you good? Dead. Uh, yo, box, box. Box squared. To the X. Oh, my. Boom. Pops it early. Uh, oh, nice. I love the mix ups. He is really flat. Today, he's a new man. He's doing some new stuff for sure. Oh my anti air. Oh my god. Oh, you had a free follow up. Oh, he's gonna charge it. Can can he just backdash out of the way? He makes it whip. Doesn't get the whip punish. Oh my god. What a backdash. Still gets the hit. Tries to go for a shot. John Wick will be proud and then pulls out the sword to finish it off. He shot her in the fucking head, man. He just pulled out a gun and just shot her from mid range. Oh. First off, that is facts, what he just said right there. People do just hand you that because in the street of Japan. I literally had like three packs in my little Supreme bag for like months. Oh yeah. yeah. I brought them from Japan to Evo later that year. Yeah. I was ready. Oh, low counter hit. Mix up taunt. Yeah, but he doesn't know the second oh. hit on the wild standing string. Oh, fuck. oh God. Oh God. Oh my God, explosion. He's gonna charge it? Back at your time. Okay, he's safe though. Uh, not from the heat smash and the floor break though. During circus. No. I like the idea. He didn't know what to do for the, the tornado, so he just took the easy option. One mix up here for the round. The last hit. There's a third hit on that cheeky little string. Uh, sneaky, sneaky. Wow. Open up this box. There's another box. Oh, God. <laughs> That's the end of seven. That's the movie. You just <laughs> open it and it's box box's face. He's like, who's this little guy? Who is this? <laughs> oh, it's floor picks, right? Oh, oh my. The fuck? Oh, jeez. He almost cut him in half on the other side. Oh my god, he is trunk. He is trunk. Expulsion again. Bolt in rage. He's gonna charge it, but Scar can back dash out of the way. Does he get the whip punish? Oh my. Now back four. Oh, now I got one and you're hit. I like how he steps back. What? From the future. That was Frieza right there. Round three. Fight. Oh god, scary whip. Box box. Wow, I love that while sending one plus two. We haven't seen him represent that yet. Oh, too far. Okay. Engage. No break on the one plus two. This isn't good. Uh oh. This time. I got it. Yo, out of the air. Oh, he I knew. Out of the air. And I got this combo too. Yo, box box. Uh. Two boxes. He still has heat. The expulsion, oh. of course. He's gonna do it again. <gasps> He's, he can hold it. He can hold it. Oh, but he doesn't have oh enough life. My God. <laughs> God, the mix. Uh, this match is so close. Uh, and if Scara wins, we're getting the low pair. He's too, if Scara wins, we're getting the coach's match. Oh. Uh, Oh, he goes under. I love it. He's, he knows that box box is checking him. The frame traps are high. That's gonna hit. Ugh. Ugh. Hit him with the replay. 
punch him three times. Uh. 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 The recoil. The duck. Boxbox has a chance. Oh, I like the weight. Oh, so low. Caught you peeking. I can do it too once again. This dude's car is ridiculous. Two one. And after he changes the future, he sets us up for another coaches match. Justin the Wazzler J Wong up against BDX. J Wong? Jay the Wazzle Dazzler himself. The old wa the old Wazzler Dazzler. And if there's one thing I know about Justin Wong is that in the actual fighting game glossary, there is a term called the Wong Factor, the factor which is that he is so clutch and players choke against him. And if there's one thing I know again about FDX, is he is the master of choking the fuck up. So yes, this is yes. the choke master versus the clutch master. And it's a Tekken player versus a non-Tekken player. Okay, this is this is where we're at here with the coaches. If you lose to Justin Wong and you're a Tekken player, it's like they'll never let you live it down. And if you don't, if you win, they'll be like, oh, you beat a 2D guy, it doesn't matter. Like whatever. So there's no winning here. This is there's, no, there's actually no winning here. And I'm gonna tell you right there's now. No winning. The pop-offs from PDX are they're so good they're like they're too good like he he's hurt himself popping off after victories he will punch the stage break his hand but still be happy that it happened i mean look i don't know what you expect of wow his name is harper yeah he has his daughter's name on his account and this dude wong is actually a cheater when it comes to games because he will mm -hmm. find the cheapest strategy and take it all the way to the bank until you make them take it all out like that's what that's the kind of player that he is yes and the thing about justin is that he is an old school tekken player right he was yes. playing back in like he, he was top eight and even on like tekken 5 or something yep. a long time ago wait in filament the creator of the fighting game glossary says the randomly generated word of the day is wong factor yo look i'll look i'm gonna tell you right now i've been to tournaments i've seen it with my own eyes Justin plays multiple games at a high level, whether as a third dimension or there's only in two. He actually can do that. I'm telling you guys right now. But here we go. Once again, I told you guys, BDX is a two-time Taste Bud Bout champion. So don't be surprised if he gets the dub here. But here we go. I'll get this off the screen. Justin Wong versus PDX, a matchup I literally never expected to see in my life, by the way. Right. <laughs> and Justin, he's real solid. The thing about him is that he's known in fighting games as a lame player. What that means is he's just really defensive. He likes to run away. He doesn't want to approach. He wants to kind of like hold his space and play really slow on the bed. And this goes really well, like with the Tekken like format, I feel like, because especially in eight now, because your defense has to be really good if you actually want to survive through. And it's not good. You get open up. Lily PDX takes game for well, round number one. Fight. Okay, counter hit this time. PDX breaks the one plus two. And look at Justin just waiting. Oh, I saw what he was going for. Yeah, he tried to sneak that in the middle and then got clipped. Mm -hmm. Big plus playing knee. It's a new one too. Matterhorn not gonna work. Could have had a, a, a bigger punish there. Oh, wow. nice duck. Wow, he knew. That, that's some knowledge from Justin right there. I like the little jab check right there, just in case he overextend it. Breaks the one plus two. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, not close enough. Down for one counter hit. Nothing big. Breaks the throw. And you know Justin's gonna turtle up here. Oh, oh but will it kill? Oh man. This is gonna hurt. Yeah. I don't know if you're dead, but it's gonna be damn close. I thought the I thought Fang's low was gonna be close to killing now, but I I think he's dead, right? Oh Woo. my. Damn, she laughed right after that? Yo. Lots of blocks. Look at Justin. Just, just react, yeah. all defense. Oh, a little too far on the counter here for the combo. See, that's what's really good about playing defensive and Tekken, because you're supposed to be backdashing anyway to get away out of range and stuff. Oh, he could have launched that hop kick to answer back. Mm -hmm. I love that. Whenever your opponent fails a launcher like that, just sending it with a hop kick after, right? Just to say, I know you, you want to capitalize on the damage you just missed. You got those? Yeah, he got those. Game one, feed DX. You win. Wow. Looking good. This man defeated Arslan Ash. The Lily, though. Yeah, and that's a very short list of people, bro. Mm -hmm. I think that's in tournament, I think it's like one hand. <laughs> yeah, he's a different beast. I 
like Justin using the jabs because you really want to be able to check people from like moving forward. That's good with Lily because she has a lot of slow startup moves for the most part. So mm -hmm. I like back turn mix there from PDX. Ends the heat right away. What a block from Justin. Oh, oh try for the whip on a second that's hit. Cool. Yeah, I hate that move. Mm -hmm. I think everybody does. Fight. Yeah. Tax on the toes. A little bit more offense from Justin, yeah, and then PDX shuts it down. And just big counter hit mid, says, what up? What are you going to do about this? Takes the damage. I like that. He actually didn't engage this time. Speaking of, oh, what a whiff punish. And the four launches from Justin. He's in heat, so he can do something crazy right here. Yup. Oh, he didn't spin the heat, so he wants the next combo to kill. Yeah, I think he's going to save it for just ta raw tackle, probably, and the heat dash. Or heat smash. Yeah, heat yeah, smash. Yeah, Guys, one, two, two. One, two, two. Mm, plus frames. Good blocks from Justin. Doesn't doesn't swing, doesn't press, doesn't duck. Wow, nice. And the panic from Fee. And I'm taking the throw. All right, round on the board, Justin Wong. Side step from Fee. That's what he's known for. His side stepping and moving has always been really good. And Lily's always been known to have like an advanced sidestep. That move is so cheap. Yeah, PDX is a movement nerd. If there's one thing about Tekken he loves, it's movement. That's like his favorite thing for sure. And he doesn't have a character. Wow, the pressure from Justin. He doesn't have a character in this game, right? In the last game he played Noctis, that character is no longer in the game, so. Uh, Justin's starting to get in the hang of this now. Goes for a throw, side switch. I think that's intentional too. Like, I, want, I think he wants you to break that throw. I like the shoulder on back turn, and Justin Wong the double shoulder up around. And Justin Wong, the thing about him is he will block for for the entire round. Like all yep. 60 seconds, he's down to do a whole lot of nothing. So you really got to force him to swing and whip or That's overwhelm him with strength. Yeah, nice whip, brother. Your automatic in the chat says never bet against Justin. Oh, jab. Oh, what a block. No Not punish. Like to just punish. That's a big one from BDX right there. Uh. To not punish that, not get the wall sending launcher and kill Justin and Rage. Ah, the mid. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. He had the low follow-up coming. Justin needs this round to get another game in there. But he's doing fine, though, for the most part. PDX tightening up on our defense. Counter hit confirmed. Pressing up close. Justin just, again, yeah, I love the sidewalk this time. He knows that Justin was going to do it back-to-back. -back. Oh. Oh. Okay, he didn't hit a button. Both activate. Oh, Justin was first. Shoulder. Oh, he's got Rage oh, Art. What the raw Rage Art? That is going to hurt big time. Not dead. Lots of damage, though. Yo, you see that Dragon Eyes come out? Oh, the Jackson 5 pose? <laughs> and one gas apiece. There is Rage available for Fee as well. He goes for the low. Justin Wong trying to chop him up. Oh, my gosh. Justin Wizzy. What? what? The Wong himself? Never count him out. Uh-oh, just like that. Never you know PDX is, it, there's vomit everywhere right now. He right. is not feeling good. This has got to be a scary one. I'm curious if he rematches or he takes it back to character select or, or something just to let it, you know, marinate for a second. He's back in. Oh, goes back in. Okay, interesting. Interesting. So if the PDX is really wise to the no, he'd literally go to Justin's chat and just type in, let's go, Justin. That's what you're supposed to do. That's the only way. It's the only counter you have to the wall factor. Oh, no whip on a shoulder whip. Oh, side like step four. That. Not clean, though. I like that. Justin going for a slower move because he noticed that PDX was actually sidestepping after that big block stun had to move. Yeah. So I like that. I want to see some back ones coming from Justin, too. Though. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's important for Justin to represent some other options, right? Because yeah. he's keeping it kind of simple. And simple Tekken against a Tekken player is hard to win with unless you're just better, you know? Yeah. He's got a few moves there. I was about to say, the back four sometimes is actually going to help you out. I like that. Heat engage. Ball. Ooh. Oh, big counter hit chance. Counter hit. And he gets the pick up this time. That wall, yeah, he yeah, he, he should be able to here. Nice extension. So... Down a couple of rounds. PDX looking clutch here. What does Justin Wong have in the tank? Yeah. Oh. Side step. Side step. Kick in. 
Yeah. Trying to use a power crush and it is not working. I think he was actually protecting his partner for the East Man. Yep, he's trying to hit on defense. The Matterhorn V D X recognizing. Listen, this guy wants to get out of here. He's not sure about the string. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the low. I'm gonna just represent this over and over. Then brings out the big one to get the kill, clutching it out for Team V D X there. A lot of times, what happened is you can get swept around, and it's like, all right, how do I adjust, right? But the whole time your opponent was literally reading and being like, all right, what are you adjusting to? How are you moving? How are you going to go up defensively against like the move that I'm going to do over and over again? And then you just switch up your style completely because you know that they're looking for that one thing. Well played though by Feedy X, man. Getting the W with the Lily on top of. That was a really sick match though. Like I said, mm -hmm. I just like watching Justin play fighting games in general. I'm just a big fan, you know what I'm saying? Even though like it's been years, anything that he like actually plays. I love the fact that he's gone to the big casual streamer phase of his life, but also I just like to see how he approaches new fighting games. Right. And he does that quite a bit. Where I are like we at here? Like, I can pull the, ooh, the I got, I've got the match here. I can like get us out of the way. Lazy Madman is streaming the match versus Ron Semi right now. Yo, it's man, two on the team brawl, the bro. Okay, okay. So you're telling me basically that if Lazy Matman wins, then this is uh, his team's W. So Lazy Matman needs to clutch it out to win here. Versus the Yoshi, huh? Rosemi. Huh? Yeah, she's played a few characters so far. Tried for the back two, too. Well, this is sick. They got oh. multiple characters? That's crazy. Lazy oh. Matman. The whiff punish down forward, too. Power crush, yo. Mm -hmm. The hug. Oh, man. Lazy Madman is a beast, man. Yeah. Such a good move. And on top of that, like going for Oki in some of these situations, early cash out on the heat. Dude, just raw. Raw rise of four right there. Tries to swing in the mix, get hit. Oh, heat engager. This is big. Yeah, that is a oh. that is a high. The second hit on that on that uh, string that puts you in helicopter. Oh, the jumping low. Oh, she's in the air. Oh! oh! Gets a lot of life back here. Oh my god, that was so sick. Oh! Oh, nice block. Oh my, Rosemi, she hopped over it. Didn't finish the streak. Yo, that, yo, so if you're in that chat, somebody go clip that shit. That was actually ridiculous. That was actually ridiculous. Get hugged. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, this is big. Down to two extension. Oh my, Ooh. the whist though. She's got uh, no sword sense now though. Back to two, heat engage. No duck Yo, from Rose Madman. We need to hold up. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I wonder if Matt's just scared of the three-two follow-up, but He's using dragonfly stance as well. Oh, big. Oh, uh, what a duck! Get your ass in this air, though. You like being in the air? Get your ass in this air, though. But didn't <laughs> get the blue one. Didn't get the blue one, so it doesn't get a combo, but still gets the hit. Matman with the blue tears coming from the eyes, man, that is creepy. I can't put anybody in that chat. I blame you, dude. That was only game one. Oh yeah, sorry. Also the tech, the tech of music is also playing in the background. Yeah, I have the tech of <laughs> music from the lobby still playing. It's good music. It's all right. Yeah, the main tournament Sunday is the same time as today, 3 p.m. There is a time change, by the way. Uh, for everybody wondering, there's uh, we do the the daylight savings here. So oh you know. damn, wait what? Yeah, so there's a time change. So we're springing forward. Um, okay. I'm glad you told me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just know that if you're someplace that doesn't change time, that that's going to be a factor. Man, they are playing some Tekken. Huh? Just goes in the stance. Big mid here. Tries to sidestep to the left. I like it. Oh my, what a duck. Go back three. He blocked that. Oh my God. Finishes the string and the pickup rolls in me. Hold on. Oh. Yo, back up. Uh, try to no, no, no. Try to take advantage. Go straight into the heat smash. That's gonna be it. And now, set point. Matt, man. Uh. I like this. Nice whip this punish, is... though. Man, Matt, Matt, man is locked. The fucking oh, got out of the way of the throw off dragonfly. Oh shit, man, his down forward twos have been so good. Mm -hmm. wow. Oh my, nicely done, man. Matman's a beast, so he clutches it out. So the Team Brawl Pro, if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to take a look at the, the score real quick. I'm pretty sure 
that we are now uh, in the last match between these two teams. They're both undefeated, right? Team Joey Fury is undefeated. Team Brawl Pro is undefeated. So the final set today will be to see which team is the first seed. Kony sent a clip. Let me look. Let's see what my man's talking about over here. Harada, Wait, did he get hit by the whole thing? Hear my prayer. No, Harada. did he do burning screw? Harada. No way. I ask uh. you now. Give me your strength. Uh. <laughs> what the minute. fuck is this? Oh, so uh, wait a minute. This is not appropriate. No, no way. He gets the whole thing. Yo, this the burning the screw. No Yo, Cody. Oh <laughs> man, E Rob. There's like an 87% chance he spiked his controller. I feel like yeah. I don't even know the end of it, but Team Joey Fury, Team Brawl Pro, 4-0, 4-0 each team. This is the final set, so we're going to be watching this one. Both teams undefeated. I just feel like Brawl Pro is just a really good coach as well, but Joey Fury, just the same. He's a very technical player, so I feel like if you give him a clipboard in a room full of players, he's the guy that's really going to be able to break it down, no matter what character you're playing. Whereas Brawl Pro is like the tilt master. Like He literally will be like, yo, what did you do? I'm going to make you not be able to play your game. I'm going to make sure you don't get comfortable. I watched last night while he was coaching uh, Coney, and I was actually giving him a few pointers myself, and it was more about the defensive aspect of it, right? Like, it was literally, like, him saying that, hey, I'm not sure about, like, defensive situations if you put me in it. But we just saw him get that whole burning screw, and he's got the five moves of doom. Oh, my God, Kitty. All right, all right, all right. Our last match. TOs are getting it set up. Everything's ready to go. Thanks to everybody for watching at home. Thanks to Steve for joining me. It's been really fun so far. The Battle of the Titans. Joey is a very technical, fundamentally strong player. Not saying that Brock right. Pro is not, but I feel like the basis of his play comes from that understanding. So him actually being able to go and coach people, I feel like he'd really be able to like to lay it across the board. Like, okay, look, guys, before we go do anything, you want to look out for X, Y, Z. Can I tell you something? I was talking to his team, Joey's team, and I'm a cutie pie said, I'm pretty sure this guy thinks we're all fucking stupid. That's what he thought. He's I. He's like, this motherfucker is so smart. Whenever he says anything, I think this guy thinks we're all fucking stupid. Like, he thinks we're the dumbest. He's like, Joey is so fucking smart. I promise you, that's just how Joey is. He's a very nice guy. He makes music on the side. That's very what I'm saying. Good. He's like a he's like a philosopher. Like, he's he like really a Tekken is. philosopher, yeah. He's really, dude, that dude is so chill. Also, let me tell you a story about this mother... Bro, so I see him in London, right? Mm -hmm. He's sponsored by FaZe, which is actually a really big deal, right? Walks into London Red Bull Gaming Sphere. And I see he's wearing a phase hoodie, right? But on the left side, right here, right? I see like a gold owl. And I'm mm -hmm. like, that's pretty crazy. I was like, Joey, take off your jacket. And he was like, what? And I'm like, bro, just, just take off your jacket. And he takes off his jacket. And it's an OVO XO phase clan collab. And I was like, what the? He's like, yeah, bro, they just gave it to me. I don't even know what it is. I was like, and I hit him up. I'm like, do you not understand what nope. you're wearing right now? Not at all. And he's like, I don't know. He can I'm tell like, you the you frame guys... data on every string in the game, but you're like, Joey, what what color is the sky? And he'd be like, depends on the stage. Like, you know, I don't know. Right, like, exactly. Just, <laughs> some stages don't have sky. And literally yeah. I hit him up. I was like, bro, I need one of those. And then he was like, sorry, bro, they're sold out. And I'm like, wow. That's crazy. He gave yeah. me one right here. No, I'm just kidding. Bro, <laughs> so I, like, I literally, I would have, I would have called him on the stream and be like, you motherfucker. And the tiebreaker rule for those of you wondering for seating is uh, head to head. If somehow we have a three way tie, then the coaches will be battling in Tekken ball. And it's maybe the only time in the whole tournament where competitive integrity is slightly not important. That's like the one time I was like, it's funnier to do it that way than to do any other tiebreaker rule. So we're going to do that. They tied. For we're the going to the beach. No, <laughs> let's go to the beach. OK, let's see. Here. <laughs> uh, all right, this should be player one is slime. Player two is Rob, Round Rob one. CD, not the electronic slime. Robert. Yeah. Rob CD. Okay. Okay. Damn, the stream is ahead of the game. Oh, I'm, I'm actually watching two different people right now. Wait, this is kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm watching Horseman May. Oh, are you not in this lobby? Head. No. Steve, no. Oh, God. I got to send you the link to the lobby. Steve's at the wrong lobby. Okay, I'll send you the link. And then you can uh, join in while you're in here. I didn't even realize you weren't in here. That's hilarious. I really wish you had seen how I was, like, looking back at home. I, I'm not going to lie. I was so busy talking. I didn't pay any attention. Okay, so here's uh, the team. I'll get them set up for you all. Though. Sorry about that. <laughs> 
cool. I can still see what's happening right now. Rob CD is down the rest. He is. But, but he's actually looking like he's in the lead. Right yeah, the thing is, is that I, I, I think, you know, both of these characters are a little... Okay, well, that's kind of what I expected. Both these characters are a little unorthodox. Uh, so it's probably going to be hard for them on defense. It's probably really about who gets who gets going here. Oh, throws him out of the armor. The bear headbutt. Big low. If you don't know about that low, it's going to be a problem. Yeah, a wall splat. Nice. The 2-2 two -two gets it's pretty decent damage, all things considered. Oh, my. Rob just steamrolling with the down three. I guess that was just... Fight. Yeah, just pull up into this lobby. Oh, hop kick. Is there a combo here? Oh, I love it. In this game, this character's combo damage is so high, and all she has to do is up back one, like the new string, and it does a million damage. Like, it just does the whole universe. If he just does up back one, up back one, I think he could kill. Okay, well, still a really good spot for Rob, and he cleans up. First game, Smash Brothers Melee. Ludwig's friend, who used to be Slime's friend. Look at him go. All right, dang, Discord wasn't starting for me for a second. Hold on. Yeah, it's okay. You have time to hop in too, because uh, even if it's on until the next match, it's not going to work. Okay. Game one goes to Rob CD. Fight. Oh, there, it is. there we are. Yo. Going crazy. Yo, Rob CD. Hold on. Oh, oh left. Big launcher. 1 1 1 for the tail. Or the tornado, rather. Oh my god. Rob CD just cooking. Gets the hop kick. This string is, it does so much damage. Um, what's it called? It does so much damage and it's also a tornado and it's also a combo. Alright, we're in there. So, but I gotta watch it off the stream, so I may be a little better. Oh yeah, probably. Uh, let me get that wall. Oh, fuck. Nice. I love that. Good block. Gets the full combo. Wow, that move does that to the wall? I had no idea. Oh. Okay. Nice little combo there after the wall, uh, the wall explosion. Uh-oh. That almost killed there. Rob almost died to the running one plus two. Oh, my last hit of the heat. Oh, but I think Slime's chilling. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, double no. No. Oh, triple no. No. <laughs> also, you got to remember, and it's not really showing too much in this, but, like, bears have natural of like the fact that their legs are so far back, yeah. you literally have to commit a lot more to offense. Yeah, oh my gosh, she went flying the other way and then jumped the other way. I think that still might have punished the landing frames, honestly. Yeah, and slime one hit away. Oh, the whiff punish. Man. I hate to see it. And that's how it goes. Yo, Rob CD. Cleaned up. That was for Dragon Ball, buddy. Nicely done. Well played there from Rob. And the, the other thing too about this team that's really interesting to me is that the jump in the second slot is really big. Like a lot of the players we see in the first slot here are around the same rank-ish. The second slot, a lot of them, it's a, it's a big difference. Some of them are in orange, some of them are in red, but both of these teams have a purple player in the second slot. We saw Coney actually doing like a good rotation of moves from King, and this mm -hmm. is exactly what we started off with. Everybody right. says that there's so many moves in Tekken, but the thing is, is once you find those moves and mm -hmm. I, it kind of like the same moves are applicable, like no matter what player you are, the character right. is what you really have to worry about. King Shining Wizard is one of them. Uh, down four one is one of them. Hop kick also yeah, one of them. Like, so you, as long as you keep that in mind, you really do take advantage of a player and you kind of just rotate them through. Round but one. Lily's one of these characters as well. Unless you're doing like air throws, you're probably going to get clipped by a couple of things trying to defend against Lily. But. Yeah, exactly. Oh, scary. That was a, a uh, throw break right away. It was a regular throw. So, you know, not not a threat so far, but yeah, the Shining Wizard, no break on the one plus two. What a block. Didn't do a punish though, and that's a one plus two throw, so. Oh, gets counter hit again. And yeah, this is the thing, right? So, Kony obviously is a big threat on this character, right? We all know he's very scary. He's got a lot of strong tools. But just like everybody else, once he gets put on defense, it's going to be hard. And Emily does have really solid defense with this character. On top of that, her offense is just really strong. Tries to go for a throw. Back three. Oh, the tackle setup. Yeah, that's something that Brawl Pro taught him very on, very early on. And it just catches you whenever you're trying to attack. So it's going to hit you pretty often. Oh, Yo, God. the pop moves are do more like the three. Yeah, <laughs> it's back three. Shining Wizard. Tackle. 
coat. Nice punish with the back one too. Yo, no break on the string throw though. Uh. Mm -hmm. One of those things you just got to know about. Oh, throw. right uh -oh. into the giant swing. No tech. That's even worse. And it's like really easy to take it now. Oh my God, the back three. So it's really a lot easier to take actually uh, giant swing. You can just mash it and you'll always get the break. But if you don't, you're eating all that damage. From you. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. Back three to stop all of that noise. Has armor. Get a free follow up. That ain't free, but you moved on the ground. So that shoulder's going to hit RKO. Oh my God. I, he's bringing out the 4-4 four, four neutral too so much too. It's really annoying to deal with. And it's a really strong move in this game. Counter hit, big damage. Oh. That's the kill. Two rounds apiece. Oh, oh, I got an armor move of my own. Root of all evil. Kills the startup. Don't oh my. Ah, oh, the leg drop. Oh, and the tackle. The thing is, is you have to know... Oh, man, the mix-up. You have to know how to get out of that. And you have to stay on the ground to avoid it. And most people are just not going to do that, right? So it's just going to catch you. Move three. Yeah. The thing is, is that, like, since it's a heat engager, that's another thing as well. If he starts doing, like, Jaguar sprint in there, but gets armor. Yeah. So it, even though it's a very simple game plan, the thing is the, the, most, the options are wow. very strong. Hop kick will start it off. She did sidestep hop kick as a round opener and hit the combo into the wall. Yo, Tekken. I say, yo, Tekken. Yo, say, Jim. I have started many a Tekken match that exact same way. So <laughs> they're gaming right now. That's how you know, too. Oh, she's got the pickup. Nice. The down jab into the wall sending, too. Yo. Uh-oh. I'd like to duck. Yeah, she just committed. She's like, all right, it's probably going to be a throw. I'm going to get out of here. I like it. You have to do that for some team, especially once they start, like, actually mixing in the throws. Yep. Mm -hmm. You literally have to duck sometimes. Oof. Mm-hmm. Goes for the low this time and tries to go for a hop kick. Yo, I'm going to be real. Cody's gaming now. He might be a little slow to the take on some of the options, yeah. but he's still doing the right options in a lot of these situations. Exactly. Spring. Oh, back three, the leg drop. Yeah. Oh, it's so bad. You gotta just lay there. Fight. Oh my, they both whiffed on both directions. Oh, mixed up time mid. goes for the mid, yeah. She threatened the low there too, so Kony, you know, he's wise here. I, oh. I like her going for the hop kick. Kony just backing up into hell of damage. Running, running three, three. and <laughs> <laughs> the wall combo. <laughs> oh no. Optimal wall combo. Uh, no break. Yeah, the string throws. You gotta be careful. Gotta know, man. Oh, giant swing. He's mixing them up for real. Coney's really gotta be feeling himself right now. I know. He's a despicable. Per oh, oh my. Not no. the point, man. Oh, she got oh, him. That's gonna hit. This is big. She, yeah, he got man, Wang. Kind of too. Get wanged. Get wanged. <laughs> this is the Tekken announcer. Get ready for the neck wang. Oh Back my. Three. No leg drop, but the alley kick move number five comes in clutch. You can't see him. You can't see him. The five moves of doom. I know Kony takes it. The fact that Kony himself calls it the five moves of doom is literally the best part. Like, he is well aware that he is the five moves of doom. He basically tweeted, like, I need a character that's yeah. easy and takes no thoughts, and I could do like five moves. Brawl Pro posted that that uh, tweet in the coach's chat and said, I could take this young man far. Like, they, Brawl Pro was like, this guy is, that's my Come people. Come under right my there. wing. Come yeah. under my glove. Young man, he's 40 years old, but he's a kid in the Tekken streets. You got to remember that. If that's I true. go and start get playing Smash, I'm a kid, battle. okay? That's just how it works out here. But that's true. we get to the next one. Yeah, it's going to be Shifter up against... Super TF. Both purple rank, by the way, for this again. So these these teams, Round they've been taking one. it serious. They've been playing a lot. Fight. Both of them looking very solid, so this is going to be our next match. The Bulma is crazy. Oh, the, Bul yeah. the Bulma one is good. I don't, I don't no, think I've seen this one. The boots are out of control. Yes. Uh, yo, look at this movement from Super TF, though. 
I like the respect being played right here. And basically just backs up for the perfect spacing on the 4 4 2 3. That was so good from Super TL. Mm -hmm. Oh, down 4 4. High on the second hit. Mm -hmm. Engage. Yeah, well, the other thing too is that we'll see if Super knows about. Oh, that counter hit launch. Nice. Uh huh. Nice combo. Mama Kazama. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Shifter has been grinding an absurd amount, by the way. Like, yeah. No. Every, every single day, it's like eight hour stream. Yo, Ma, he's doing string. He's doing string. Oh, no. Ooh, not in my house. I thought you guys were friends. Hell sweet. Oh, gets the tornado, too. Wow. He even had the wall combo. Tried for the wall combo, but he got pulled oh. off the wall. Oh, uh, repeat offender. I like the it. Double hell sweet. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Didn't get the counter hit on the 4 4 that time. Oh, went for the low and it traded with the armor there. Nice! Wow. Oh, what a hot dude. That was so good. Yeah, went for the wall carry combo. The 4 4 2 3. Didn't quite oh. make it, but I love the ducks we're seeing from Shifter. It brings out even the can can. I love the cycle of options going as well. What a whip punish with the Goff is gonna get the oh. wall and break it. Backs up, starts dancing on him. The waltz. That's not good. Uh, initiate it. Oh, that's a huge damage, oh. and it breaks it. I think he should have enough damage here if he does a full combo. Okay, early tornado. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yo, dragger and thrower. First game, super TF. Man, that was close too. And this is a I big like one this. because you know Jack Jesus is in the background. So if it comes down to Watch Cutie it. versus Jack Jesus, that's very scary. I love the pop-off from Reyna talking to June. She's like, I'll get rid of this foul woman. Just hating on June for no reason. I know. She, she literally just came back, man. Right? I was about to say, she just got back, bro. Yeah, she was quote-unquote dead, and now she's back, and this is how you treat her. Hey, hell sweet. Uh. Yeah, I was plus. What a break! Man, he was so ready. Yo, they are playing some tech shit. Yo, hold these clothes. Wow, that's so far. Like she got magic so trick. much life back even on that. Oh, out of the air. No combo, though. Yeah, 4-4 four, four hits in the air. <laughs> Did block the second hit, and the power crush actually moved her out of the way. That was sick. Round two. Yeah, super... He uses that power crush more than like any Reyna player I've seen. It's like something that he just uses all the time. Oh, it's, no it's electric. really good in neutral, right? Especially if they're not switching up and doing lows. Man, Super tried to electric like three times and he didn't hit it. And he's falling for the Mishima trap of like, I miss my electric, I have to do it again. Oh, ooh. now I'm t now that's what I'm talking about. I think one of June's biggest strengths is her like options and strings right and knowing that like she has multiple follow-ups and how to defend against them but i think super tf is like you know what i'm not trying to deal with any of that uh engage oh my what the hold these crows oh oh gary super Bend goes for it yeah and the mix up the grab this time yo the launch i got these no i don't the oh. curse no break you can't step on it oh a not that Ah, 4-4-2 four, four, is, it's the nooch. If you don't have neutral, now you do. Yeah, it is the starter. It's like, hey, you don't know how to get in? It's 4-4-2. Four, four, oh, wow. Caught him ducking. Real close to the wall, 4-2 with the carry. Yeah, sometimes you try to do 4-4-2 four, four, with this character, because it's like her combo ender at the end, and then you get 4-2. Oh, it kills her to die? Launch Oh. oh, scary whiff. Both have rage, by the way. Oh, and the stomp. Super TF cleaning up two to zero, which sets up QD to have to clutch against the Jack Jesus. Jack Jesus. Their matches were close oh. last time I saw him play. Man, Super TF is really good, though. Yeah, he's very solid. I like solid. the adjustments from, from both. And, like, Shifter as well, just to kind of slow it down. You really started to see, like, 
how they're kind of switching up the offense while they're fighting each other. And, like, sometimes they'll go more defensive. Like, just a good variation on, like, the approach to actually getting an offense started. And then, like, fine hits. It's been dope. You can really see that someone has picked up a new game and has a new idea. And his offense is really clean. Like, you watch Super and it's he has a really clear understanding of his character when he has advantage. Like, the entire 4-4-2 sequence. Like, he knows to go for three. He knows the plus frames. He knows down forward one, two. He knows, like, oh, if they start ducking, I can do Sentai 2 instead of 3, yeah. right? Like, so he's got all these, like, you know, options that he's built up. And he has a clear understanding of his character, which I think is really cool. The pace that they're playing at as well. And yeah. just waiting for, like, the proper time for, like, the whiff punish and the attack. Like, it's just been really good. Like I said before, like, I, you don't expect much a lot of times. But a lot of these players, like, have been grinding. And like I said, I'm in the Discord. So I'm looking at them, like, match up. Try to, like, yo, I'm trying to get games in. Like, what do I do with this? And just asking questions, like just to learn more about Tekken 8. Like I said before, it's a new game, so a lot of people are learning. And shout outs to the coaches as well. Just a right. really cool event. We have a Bushin Jack versus a Raijin Bear. Cutie climbed really fast. He was purple like a week ago, and then he made it to blue very fast. He like went through the ranks. And I, I was trying to explain that like blue on the bear means that you're like a Tekken god because no one knows how to fight the bear. Like, That's no true. one has any experience with how to fight the bear, literally at all. And I really wanted battle. to play, like, some Kuma just to, like, show people, yo, this character's actually kind of crazy with it. You really got to know what's happening versus Kuma, or else you could definitely get just swept away. Yeah. He, swept, my man started it off with him. Yeah, he is a nightmare in this game. Like, he's definitely got a lot of really cool new stuff, too, that I think is really solid. So a lot of people are going to struggle with it. Push to the wall. Yeah, special get-up options from the back. Yo, caught your people. Man, that, I didn't know that actually gave you a high wall splat. Wow. Lazy Madman said it up. He knows, he knows what's up. He's been grinding Yo, this game. Yo, Bear Oh my. The bear trick. No it's launch. launch that. Yeah. It's okay, though. Still got to punish anyway, and you'll take it. Help. Help. Oh. Joel Wall Rising 2. Bear Clef Cannon. Huh. Oh, running one plus two whiff. Stepping on the bear, yo. Ugh. Yo, they are swinging. Drop it on him. He's still there, though. You still got heat, though. Not gonna take it. Round three. Mm -hmm. I like it. We saw Cutie trying to activate, too. And Lazy... Wow, he was ready for the 2-1, also. Oh, stuff the armor. Wow, gets the pickup. What a confirm. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Big damage. I cannot believe that Big was the damage. combo. Oh my god. Oh, combo off the wall because you did the perfect throw. That was, dude, yo, Matt Man. Jeez. That was quick. Yeah, this guy's a beast. Yo. Okay, Matt Man. Jack G. I need to monitor. I need to monitor this guy. <laughs> Round one. Jack Jesus in the building. That's him. Oh, oh I man. love the cancel. Yep. You know, he could have did one plus two, and he would have got a big launcher right there out of Hunter. Uh -huh. Nice back dash. That's what I was talking about. Bears naturally sit further back, so you don't have to worry about some of the situations where, like, other characters are at a close range and you get, like, full punish or a launch or something like that. Yeah. Two jabs and then yeah, just sets them up for the throw. Uh, he had a combo for the bear, dude. Get your ass in this tree, man. What's going down here, Bear? Get your ass in this tree. <laughs> oh, nice, nice block. block. He wow. knew. He was ready to sign. I want to see QD next time represent another option. And like I said before, you do have a couple options out of hunting fans. You got a high uh, command throw out of there. You can do a launch as well. And you can just go for a simple, like, small low poke. Oh. Drop it on him. Uh. 10 frames. It's so fast, man. He bucks. Uh, charge it. Charge it. Oh, too far. His little legs can't reach. Little bear legs. They're not far enough. Rage available for Cutie as well. Oh, the low oh, parry. parry. Up one plus two. Wait a minute. Uh, uh. Oh, my. Attack while rising one in the jackhammer to close out. Yo, Matt Man. On the verge. Yo, hold this back one. Oh, I, I love like the delay. That. Yeah, that was a good little try. That's a range two special right there. He'll just do like down forward two just to see if you're moving and then just let it rock. Tasty range two. Oh my. 
Uh, oh! Oh! Hold this fish. Too far. Heat engaged. Ten frames. You gotta be careful. Oh. Look at that gray life, man. Has range, so he need a life back. 4-2. Great punish. And tries to dunk Matt, man. Gonna take it. Man, that new stance really has been a terror if you're not familiar with fighting Jack. Yo, Jack G is in the building. That's him. He's crying tears of joy. So there we have it. Our first seed looking good. And keep in mind, the big thing about this, everybody, nobody's eliminated. None of the teams are out of the tournament or anything like that. Today is all for seeding. So everybody is still in the tournament. There's no penalty for doing bad today. The big thing is the top two seeds are going to be having a buy in the bracket. Your favorite streamer is not out. They're not done. Really, today is to get a chance to play everybody in the event and then come up with some counter strategies for Sunday. So if your counter strategies are like you got to go in and figure out how to beat Jack, you got to go figure out how to stop this this uh, Super TF Reyna, you know, you got to go in there and start to do some homework on all these other teams. Hopefully we do get to talk Ooh. to Brawl because like I said, I definitely was checking him out. And just, you know, when he was coaching earlier. So I would love to know, like, his thought process after, like, watching, like, Coney play. I feel like he's going to be proud of it, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like he's going to be proud of how well they did, you know? The rubber match is happening. They're having a Box Box versus Raiditz rubber match since it went 3-0. So Box oh. Box is playing Ray. I pulled that up on the stream right now. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, no break on the 1 plus 2. Yo, Afro, legit. Oh, my bad. Like, I thought it was uh, Afro. I, the, the same kind oh, of. they do uh, have the I, same I, like, custom. That, yeah. I just realized, yeah. No, Raided, Raided switched to Dragon. I, I've been very impressed with this play. He played Box Box yesterday. It was very close. Oh, the Oof. duck. Oof. What up, Vivi Raided? Hopefully it was uh, a good time out there. Yeah, so the teams are all finalized. I'll post the updated bracket at the end. This is a match for fun since Jay Wong's team got uh, 3 0 Box Box didn't get to play. So this is the last one. Man. But I do like my Raiditz was actually playing really well with the with the Dragon off as well. And I like to see that we're actually starting to see the one plus two throws from because that's another thing you gotta look at as, as well. Oh, someone says the challenge is wrong. Oh word. Let me get that fixed. Oh nice little sleep right there. Wait, it's not three one. This is a real match? This is two one? This is a real thing that's happening? What? Someone oh, lied yeah. to me. It's not over. This uh. is for real, for real. Okay, this is big. Celine got the W. Celine clutching it up for Team J Wong. Same with Afro earlier. Oh. Wait, this is this is the real deal. Someone lied to me in the chat. Oh shit! Still gotta stop. Down two. Raw rage our box box. It's a box inside of a box. That's me. It's him. And Celine. Yeah. Celine clutching it up today. I gotta say, I'm very impressed. Yeah, we'll have all the individual scores for everybody. Oh, that sidestep round start. He's been doing that a lot. He's been doing just like side walk all the way around people down four two or sidestep down four two around start a lot. Man, I like that. Using the third dimension. Okay. I'll get that updated. I hear that the challenge is wrong for Brawl Pro versus Joey. I'll get it updated. Oof. Oh, wow. Okay. Interrupt here. Both of them in heat. Box box, though. Oh, match point uses the raw smash. Man, that heat smash is cool. Dive kick afterwards. Finishes the stream. Uses the heat smash, can, can, kicks him, but the combo drops. Tries to go for the launch. Oh my god. Mm hmm. This guy, this match is spooky. This is a very scary match. Look at, look at fucking Box Box's face, too. <laughs> he's just like, oh. Like, he's got that face. He's like, all I right. I got it. Mm, nice. <laughs> That's how you know, locked in. Like, all right, I did good, but the job's not done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no overlay because this is just Box Box's stream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I could put it on, but. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's worth all the effort for all that. But yeah, this is it. Oh my god. No. Combo drop. It's okay. Yeah, you really gotta be careful here. I like the playing back though for rated. Okay, challenge is fixed. Nice. Can can. Yeah, that's you have to hop kick or commit to something like that. Mm -hmm. To beat Oh my god, he's gonna be able to kill here. Well, if he did a tornado, but yeah, like you have to commit to something like can can or hop kick to beat the tackle after that, so. And it's really like kind of hard to like kind of call out because it's a very sparingly used move a lot of times because you got to be looking for the tackle. So. Oh, nice. Wow. Picking up steam though. Yo. Okay. Gets the heat engager down to like stop that offense. Oh, he gets a combo off this too. No tornado left. So he gets a mix up. Nice. He stayed on the ground. Good awareness from Ray. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh my, oh my oh, whip punish. 
Oh, wait, right in between? Oh my god, that was so sick. Oh, that was so sick. That was sick. Oh my god. You thought it was over because you found the box? Open it. There's just another box in here. Dude, that's what happens. Mm. This guy. Yo, box box. He's been grinding, man. Both of, honestly, both of them have been two of the people grinding the most since the beginning. Having a lot of fun with Tekken 8. Can't be mad at that. <laughs> it's not one, but two boxes. Not two. Hey, who put this other box in here? Dude, if there was three boxes, this shit would be over. It'll actually be a game. That's game, bro. We gotta get the hell out get the hell out of here. Why? There was another box inside that box. What the hell? Oh my. Wait. I don't know if it's enough for the kill, right? Like he doesn't have that low life. No, no, he, he should be alright. He's okay. If he's if his life was lower, then we'd be having a different discussion. But let's see. Oh my, it's a pixel. <gasps> oh my god, Steve. Steve. They're dancing. Steve. Yeah, they're dancing. Let's go. Oh, the armor. Jesus. Yeah. There is three yeah. boxes. Wait, yeah. does that mean it's a coach's match now? Hold on. Is it coach's match? It should be, right? It's 2-2. Coach's match. Justin versus Miles? Uh, a lot of people have been asking like, what the prizes are. I went over them earlier. I'll go over them again on Sunday. But first and second place prize for Sunday. When What everybody gets for winning, right? First and second place teams. All of their team. All the players. All the coaches. All five of them. Uh, so 10 total are going to Evo. We're going to send them to Evo. Registration paid for. Flight hotel paid for. They get to go to Evo and play with their coaches at Evo. And check it out. If you're first place team, then you also get uh, some gambling money. I mean, listen, you don't have to gamble. You can spend that on an arcade stick. You can spend it on something else that's like, you know, more responsible uh, on Great the show floor. Yeah, guac, you know, you something know. extra guac in your Chipotle. Whatever you're interested in, right? You're actually sending these guys to evo that's really dope not a lot of people even get the opportunity to do that but these guys new to the world of tekken 8 actually mm. going to compete not everybody but at least you got the opportunity to experience kind of like the pinnacle and tekken 8 evo is going to be ridiculous i promise mm -hmm. so you get uh, that that's your first and second place they also get a custom razor kitsune we have custom lever lists for everybody uh a... third place we have tesseract lever list for everybody to get fourth place we have custom junk food arcade lever lists for everybody to get and all people who play in the tournament Get one, count it, one free entree code at Chipotle. Yep. I know you love that. Yep. Mm, so everybody, even wow. if your team gets last place, you get one free entree code at Chipotle, guac included. Yo, shout out, shout out to Chipotle though. Hell Big yeah. shout out to Chipotle, bro. Everybody gets one. And if you live somewhere where they don't have Chipotle, move. <laughs> yeah, that's a travesty in itself. I'm sorry. Cause I'm pretty sure I'm gonna eat Chipotle after this. I'm down. I've not eaten. Come Yo, on. big save. Okay. Oh. Big launcher. Justin locked in. Miles, he's trying to close out. Mm -hmm. That down, that string, the Alyssa string, the down three or down four, one plus yep. two is so cheap in this game. It's It jails Dude. on hit, and it's zero on block. Down oh. three right there. Yeah. And a lot of times what happens is, like, you really have a hard time approaching, like, Alisa because she has that power crush. She's got a hop kick. She's got a four as well. Oh, and she's got pretty good lows to just keep keep annoying you. Uh oh, wait nice. a minute. I like that. He knows that. Oh, he remember I said he needed to start using more moves. Back four, he started to put it in there as well. More down four ones. Normal throw. Kawhi face Miles. Still up two rounds, right? But Justin with a round on the board. This mm -hmm. is his first game, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, first game. This is uh first game between them. Oh god. Uh oh, and chainsaws in the corner. I think Justin's fucked. <laughs> I, th I think he might be dead. Yeah, it kind of sucks. It, it kind of sucks. Lots of chip. Huh? Yep. There you go. Nice interrupt. Oh, duck. Use the honor. Uh, Shoulder. I like that. Just to get mid? out of the corner. And that's the movement you get with Elisa sometimes. And when you use it, it's actually pretty that annoying because she has quick, even quicker side steps. So a lot of times, I don't know if you do a move that's a little too slow on recovery, you can get clipped by her chainsaw stance right away if they use it. So, yeah, and like especially, you know, Alyssa is one of those characters where when you're dealing with her pressure too, there's so many evasive, tricky things that you have to keep in mind. And her movement is incredibly good. Just her natural backdashing is really strong and sidestepping. Nice, down for two. If you saw Justin trying to move away from the wall, gets the float and the pickup. Nice conversion here. Oh, out of the air, he gets a combo. 
still has heat. Oh, what a call. Yeah, I like saving the heat also. Oh, no. Second hit, he didn't know. Oh. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, the sprinkler. That's not good. <laughs> the sprinkler. He's out of heat. <laughs> Bro, the running. He, he tried the shoulder right there, too, and he just oh. wasn't in time. Miles really good at like keeping you. She doesn't really let you play your own game either. Like she stays close enough to where she's like always like offensive, but like she's like looking for stuff. She's like, yo, what are you gonna do right here? Like right there. Gets the launcher. Out of the air again. This is big. Uh, Wall pressure uh, for Justin is huge here. This is she doesn't have room to escape, but the power crush trade. Oh my he maybe even could have got a combo off that. Oh. Breaks the throw this time. Switch oh. sides cancels the heat activation and gets the wall because of it. Heat dash, oh, finish off going smoked. to Chainsaw Sans to low afterwards in one more round. Oh, man. That was tricky, too. She had down three lined up into the down four, the full crouch down four. Rough spot for Justin against the wall there. Shoulder. Finally, okay. some pressure. Uh-uh. Uh, shoulder. Down four one because they tried to move. Oh, and breaks the throw out of there. Oh, and a whiff, too. No cancel from Justin. Oof. Shoulder, shoulder. Oh, power crush. Tr and tries to commit Justin. Goes for the shoulder. Back four. I like it. And then backs up a little bit. Oh, God. Uh, oh! Had the oh, my God. That's huge. Wait, round on the board for Justin right. Wong? Uh, uh. Yeah, you're, I think your stream's a little behind mine. I don't know which one you're watching. I'm watching Justin. To the moon. Dead. Okay, okay, okay. I love somebody said the one factor instead of Wong. It's just the one factor. <laughs> the one factor. The one. He is the one. Yo, the, yo, pow, yo, the armor gets through. I keep thinking it's a power crush, bro. Because that chainsaw, oh. it's so fast. It's so many continuous hits that, like, the armor will freeze up because of it. Could have got a launch there, but something's better than nothing. Bro, oh, he just got to get the jab out of the air. Too? Waiting for the movement and the sidestep launch from Quiet Face Miles. Oh, spin oh. Oh. No. Big spender. The slide. Ah, oh, the rage right. No. That's the panic. Miles sniffs it out. That should be the round. The door knob oh, twisting so on the sorry. end. Nice try. That was oh. the one factor right there, if I've ever seen it. <laughs> well, that means we have our final scores and we can get our bracket for Sunday all figured out. And then we'll take a look at everything. So this is the final standings for the challenge. If you exclamation point bracket, you'll see it. I'll also pull it up here. Boop, boop. You guys can see it. So these are the standings. Uh, what will happen here is that these two teams, Brawl Pro and Joey Fury, these teams will have a bye for the first round of Sunday. So they will not play. Uh, and then the way it'll work is afterwards, the third seed will play against the sixth seed and then the fourth seed and the fifth seed. They'll all be playing against each other. So I'll populate the bracket tonight and then post it. You'll all be able to see it and uh, see how it breaks down. I have an example bracket, actually. There's like a sample. I'll pull it up real quick. Seeds will fight it out like this. And then the second round, they'll play team one and team two, which is the Joey Fury and Brawl Pro team. So this is what the bracket will look like. It'll be double elimination, which means if your team loses once, you are not out. You have to lose again in losers bracket. That's how it works. But yeah, I want to. I don't know if Brawl Pro is still in there. I'd like to talk to him. Nah, man, it's actually really cool. I would love to talk to him too. Like I said, I got to see him firsthand, like actually, you know, coaching. And I was like, all right, okay, guy, all right. And absolutely a king player. So it's really good if you really wanted to get that fast upgrade like Coney got. Um, and once again, Tekken 8 is a new game. So it was really cool to see like a bunch of new people actually get into it. And it's not over, like you said, man, Sunday, we're starting around the same time. Don't forget, Daylight Saving Times does kick in, so we jump forward. But you guys will to still kidnap see him, the Steve. bracket, right? He's like, he's like, you're about to kidnap um, oh, we, wait, we, we can, can just, actually talk to him. We can join the whole team VC if we want, actually. I can go down. All right, hey. let's, let's go down and chit chat. I don't know how everybody's volume is. Hello. Oh, hello. Yo, what up, dog? Howdy. What up, team bro? Bro? Howdy, howdy, howdy. How's everybody feeling? Nice job. Very well played today, Pretty everybody. Good. I'm kind of mad at you for not better moderating your chat. They're saying some very mean things about me in there, say Jim, and I don't see you taking up for me one bit. Yeah, I saw that, <laughs> and I was I was uh, advocating and leading for it. I'm pretty sure I probably started every bad rumor about you that was said yep. in my chat, and I hope that they, if they didn't say it, then I hope that what they said was meaner than what I said. Bruh. Uh, wait, I have a question. Four moves. First and foremost, wait, did Brawl Pro even play today? No. No, I did not. What have you been doing, man? Okay. You sitting there just picking your ass, just hanging out? Like, what are you talking about? Are you coaching? <laughs> what are you He's doing? He's scared. This is my coaching, sure man. Mm -hmm. 
Let me hear. Brawl I, I feel Pro. like Brawl Pro was like, hey, guys, you have to win, because if I have to get on camera and play, I don't want to do that. I don't want people to see my face. So, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm ready, man. It's fine. Yeah, you think you're fine. OK, can I just ask, right? All of you, you've been in here scheming. Uh -huh. I can see all the coaches chats and like the team chats. You have been very, very active in here, all of you. So I'm curious what your perception is like. You know, you got the coaching from BP. How much of it was super useful? How much of it was stuff that you were like, oh, this makes so much sense. And like, what's kind of the impression you have after playing all the other teams? Um, well. Hey, Super TF, go ahead. Yeah, what's up, man? <laughs> I will say he was definitely very helpful. I, I mean, I still kind of suck ass at this game because <laughs> this shit's way too uh complicated but um he keeps it simple and easy to understand which is good for Ooh. me because otherwise i'd be lost so mm -hmm. good job brawl pro round of applause okay okay yeah, thank, you. Go, bro, thank bro. you what's up yeah i think mm -hmm. he's I, uh, I think he's really good at understanding what you know and then tailoring his advice to like your skill level because i'm like super new to tekken true. And he was able to, like, tell me answers to, like, simple stuff. Like, this is punishable, this isn't, this isn't that. But also, like, the idea of Tekken. And he, he, just, he just knows. He's like, honestly, that's Coach. Yeah. That's him. <laughs> that's Coach. He's him, I think. Is there, anybody, is there anybody on any of the teams that you guys were surprised about that you're like, oh, shit, we got to get ready for this on Sunday? Was there any, any shockers out there? Bro, Zevi busting out the Yoshi freaking Yo. Out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that was, was some wild. really cool matches, bro. The, Luckily, the I was Zemi. prepared, but yeah. Honestly, anybody that got like, because I, I was in orange, so I was like, all right, I'm fighting orange and red. And then so many of them got purple. And like, they were very good. It's like, okay, so they're taking this seriously. Your closest um, match was Lily, right? Uh, yeah, I, dude. So apparently, Lily and I had a match, and I'm mashing alley kick, and she's mashing rage art. And if I don't do all three alley kicks, which is very bad, by the way. My yes, coach it is. See, I see your guys' face <laughs> on the is. stream. I know it's not good, but that move is crack. It feels so good. If I didn't <laughs> mash it, I lose. So I'm yeah. telling him not to, but it keeps working. So it's like, <laughs> so oh, whatever. Good. It's so good. That's just how it works. I see. Any, anybody As a else that player, was, I uh, know. It's hard not to do alley kick. I know. You're like, yo, I'm about to win this round. Down three plus four. Ah, oh, damn it. They blocked it. I just got lunch. Every time, dude. Yeah. Oh, and the other thing I was going to ask too, right, is now you're all chilling. You know that Sunday there's a target on your, your backs. Every, literally everybody's going to be prepping for the five moves yeah. of doom and Jack Jesus and the su super 112 TF. Like, you know, everybody's Man, out there. Say? They're out there scared. <laughs> Yeah, they're out there scared. So what is what's your thoughts now? You know, everybody's gonna be prepping for you all Sunday. Uh, yeah. The way I see that, it is we won we won the initial match, the one that matters where no one's prepared, you just gotta adapt. So you know, we we, we locked that in. GG, let's go. You know, yeah. I, I'm sure I, uh, we're also going to adapt just as much as the other people. I was gonna say, I think I was playing really shitty at the start of the day, and I started playing good at E Rob, and I think I played very well versus Emily. So definitely I can, yeah, I think I, I think I started off really bad, but I think if I just rocky. pick it up, I'll be I'll be better. Cause the first two sets were like crazy. I had to come Ooh. back really hard. So yeah. I don't know. I'm confident. I don't know about you guys. You yeah, consolidate. Great, it was really good. Yeah. There I was feel like I played stuff pretty poorly yeah. and I can still get better. So, you know, fix that real quick. Yeah, I, yeah. Don't, yeah. I don't think I lose to anyone. Run it back. There's a lot of like there's a lot of I'm keys ready. that they fell for too, you know. So I'm gonna review all their matches and then just literally mm -hmm. give them the solutions to the easy stuff. And that's what tomorrow is for, yeah. And mm -hmm. so that's all me tonight. I'm VOD reviewing. Tomorrow they'll have that, like how they can, you know, mix it up and defend against all that BS from today. And uh, yeah, we're gonna lock it in for Sunday. Still there you go. Coach? There you go. You love to see it. Well, are thanks for. Are you gonna keep streaming, Brawl Pro? Probably not. <laughs> Why do you need? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> I'm. I'm trying to figure out where to drop all these people at. Hey, um, I'm popping a bounty if they need a home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm about to play a great game them his way, on uh, Steam. I think they would really like it. I'll just, you know, if it, anybody else wants it, that's cool. Is it Red Baron Damn. Pizza? No, I already did that one. It's called Enshrouded, a survival <laughs> crafting game. Very excited to give this a shot. Wow. Okay, well, hopefully uh, everybody enjoyed day one of the event, all of you in this call and everybody at home. It was fun. We'll be back Sunday, yeah, same awesome. time. There is a time switch, all of you. Just keep in mind, there is a time switch. So, oh, yeah, 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 just be ready. There's a daylight saving situation. We'll ping oh. and we'll get that all figured out. Yeah. Oh, true, um, yeah.
But yeah, I mean, I want to send the raid somewhere. Very deserving. Obviously, your team 5-0 and today. Very, very well done. So tell BoxBox I said what up. Uh, catch you guys all around and enjoy the afternoon and evening. Thanks That's for tuning up. in to day one of That's the tournament. Up. Bye. Catch you That's all later. Later, peace. peace. Bye. Have later. a lovely yeah. one. Yeah. Yep. Have a Bye. Yep. All right. Up.